Got our ball 100. Uh, you asked for it. You got it. We got Jack Carter, Ricky joining us, and as always, Paul and me. It's going to be a great episode. We got a great list of topics. It's the drinking one, though. So, boys, hold up your drinks. We'll be doing a little bit of drinking and going to get a little wild, get a little silly on this cast. So, prepare for that. Um, we're going to do song of the week really quick, and then we're going to jump into topics and then what we are drinking, actually. Um, Paul, what's up? What do you got for song of the week? What are you listening to? We're just going to knock that out real quick. Tara Reed on site. Go check it out. It's a banger. Do you want some old video. school rap? That's your shit right there. I've been listening to uh, a lot of Bloodbath, uh, Cancer of the Soul from Nightmares Made Flesh. Great song, you know, and it's not a pose or death metal band, so go to hell. All right. <laughs> what you got? What you got, Carter? What you been listening to? Man, I've been really vibing with Joji recently, so I got hell yeah. Eddie Boy Can't by Joji featuring Little Yachty. Just kind of a pump up song. I like it. Yeah. The vibe. Jack, Ricky, what you guys? You got something to listen to? I've been I've been enjoying the Kendrick Drake beef. That's been pretty fun. You know, I haven't looked into any of those. Are oh. a lot a lot of them good? Are this one yeah. obviously winning? I I've heard oh, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar destroyed like, him. Really, Kendrick really. destroyed him. It was really yeah. fun to watch. Kendrick destroyed yeah. him. It was awesome. It was bad. So what were the they? Pedophile. Rick what are Ross they beefing about? Uh, <laughs> oh, I said the word I'm not like... allowed to say. <laughs> God damn it. It's what they're beefing over. Was it Drake doing some weird stuff there? Yeah, well, that, was, that was that was part of it. But all Kendrick got upset about was him and J. Cole were like, J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick, we're the big three. And Kendrick's like, nah, you guys suck. It's just me. Fair. And that was, that's what started everything. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'm just noting that down because I'll have to block that out, Jack. So thank you. I'll have to fucking <laughs> leave it or do something. So that's great. Yeah, Off to a great yeah. start. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack, what do you got? Song of the week. What have you been vibing to? Well, a lot of mine's just awful rap, screamo, dumb stuff. I think this guy collaborated. His name is Walnut God and Dead Boys Ken. It's some sort of Japanese name, which I will not slander in any way. <laughs> and I will not even try to pronounce. Walnut yeah. God, I guess if you look him up, I don't know any of his other music, but <laughs> it's like screamo it, rap, and it makes me feel silly. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a guest on here, uh, shout out Ryan, and he he like blew my mind. It was like a genre of music. It was like, what was it? Zoomer baby iPad music? Is that what he yeah. fucking like, called give it? Give me a toilet? Rap oh. songs, yeah, and I'm like, what is this genre? It's exactly I'm gonna drop what the other it is. R already. Rich retarded. That is the worst thing yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Like <laughs> brain rot. It's I listened. I listened to it, and I'm like, this is not for me. <laughs> that not. happens. That happens. Um, <laughs> what's everybody drinking? Should we just go down the line, Carter? What are you drinking? I am drinking a uh, Japanese Hibiki Centauri whiskey. Um. <laughs> I like Japanese whiskey, so I decided to break this out for 100. So, I have a question for you. Like, yes. I've never, I'm a big whiskey, dark liquor guy. I've never really, like, ventured into things outside of the United States. What got you into Japanese whiskey? When did you first try it? Do you have any stories about that? Or um, So, I, I watch cold ones a lot. And oh, I hell yeah. Okay. With, uh, Japanese whiskey. And then I turned 21, and I'm like, I'm going to try this. And I liked it, so I haven't really switched from it yet. I, I, I'm not a whiskey connoisseur by any means, but I like the Japanese whiskey, so that's what I've just been kind of sticking with. Sweet. It looks, like, lighter in color. Would you say you're more of, like, a, if you had to pick between beer and liquor, you're more of a liquor guy? I'm more of, like, personally, like, I'd rather have liquor than just drink, like, 10 beers, you know? Yes, yes. So, like, it depends. I'm a really big cider guy, too, so I'll, I like cider. Um, but right below that is definitely, like, whiskey, liquor, for sure. I don't like oh, yeah. beer very much. Oh, yeah. so. hmm. um, about it? Jack, the one that's not my brother. What do you What have you been drinking? Oh, we're not related. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing some <laughs> orange juice, and I'm a Tito's girl. Just going to be honest. <laughs> Fair. Screwdrivers, huh? Yep. Um, I'm not, I, not a big fan of dark liquor or beer. Um. I hate light I liquor. Mean, 
I'll drink it, but all right. Well, hey, let me finish my rant before oh, yeah. you go criticize. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All I'll say is, last time I had screwdrivers, I was throwing up in the apartment that Ricky and I lived in because I had like fucking ten <laughs> screwdrivers. Yeah, because you had ten screwdrivers. What do you think was gonna happen? Eleven makes you feel even again. You never made it to the brinks. <laughs> you hadn't hit your second wind. Must have been yeah. with Smirnoff and orange juice. Weird. Oof. Didn't feel good after. But. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's all I'm drinking for tonight, depending on how mad I get about hearing you guys talk about UFC. Or that's about it. I'm already technology. Honestly, they were talking about technology. Skype already. You know, before <laughs> the fucking, cast started, yeah, yeah. Like, oh wow, real hot shut topic. That down. Skype. Yeah, Fuck, shut yeah. that shit down <laughs> right immediately. You'll never talk about that again. Ricky. Don't look at my Skype logs. What are you drinking? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm drinking beer. I'm the loser drinking beer. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. With a bent paddle light lager. So I can pound them all and not be, I won't be hung over tomorrow, which is great. Really? Beer oh, nice. gets me the worst as far as hungoverness, but it may, I don't know. It just depends on how much you drink. Wine gets me the worst hungover. It's so sugary. I it's guess delicious. I'm about to find out. There we go. Ooh. But it's, it's only like whatever, four or five percent. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, Jack, what you drinking? All right. So my experience with liquor is very limited. I haven't started drinking up until like six months ago, and I drank a little bit last night, so I kind of depleted some of my uh, what I bought. But I got a I got a Buzz Ball here. These are pretty good. Anything with no sugar, <laughs> Buzz Ball. Yeah, Buzz Balls will get you fucked up. They're pretty good. Um, and then I got some of these uh, Jack Daniels zero sugar. Yes. Anything zero sugar and low Whoa, calories. What, I'm about. what are so those? Good. Those yeah. are so good. Jack Daniels and Coca Cola, zero zero sugar. They're kind of shit. I don't really like it to be honest. I love but I'll, those. I'll have to try one. Sugar. Bring one over, because the only thing I've tried as far as mixing sodas and and liquor is the uh like Baja Blast or the Mountain Dew hard mm, liquor. Yeah, those are right. they're those those are okay. But you can easily tell, similar to ciders, you have like a, you know a few of those. You're having bad gut rot. Like there's a I feel Dude, like there's they're a lot like, of sugar in those. I looked at them yesterday. They're like forty percent sugar, and they're like three hundred calories each. It's like just fucking eat a candy bar at that point, dude. Like I don't know. I have a Reese's. I have. I literally never drink in a beer, though. I was to say that. Never had a beer ever. I don't think I will. It's disgusting. It's an, it's an acquired. It's very much an acquired. Like you have you need to find what you like. You need shit, you need shit taste. taste. That's yeah, I've had, drinking been drinking for a while. No offense, Rick. You're the uh -huh. only one not trying to define the shit flavor. But hey. Buzz balls never had. They're probably it's better. Not than American beer. not to like beer. Let's be real. Yeah. Well, hey, go so, commies. So for me, so, like the first beer I had, it was actually with Ricky and fucking Ben, and it was a Guinness, and that thing was terrible. Yeah. That dark. That turned that, tur that was super that, dark. That, turned me off to uh, beer, and then like years later, you know, I tried beers here and there, and I never really liked them. But the one that I, the one that got me into beer was Castle Danger Cream Ale. Once I had mm. that, I was like, damn, this is actually like okay tasting and that's not like a super light beer it's kind of like i'd say middle of the road like it's not dark but it's not super light and then that's what got me into like you know then i could handle lighter beers but i don't really go heavier than like an amber bach or anything like that like it gets a little nasty for my taste honestly it's very yeah but i got um, oh go sorry. i got hung over for the first time literally the first time like a month ago and it was awful i have pineapple high noons and i can't even look at them without wanting to vomit like i won't touch <laughs> i got sick off pineapple high noons and a malibu pineapple and it's just Ooh. it was bad it was it was rough i was fucked up for like a day yeah never again i don't ever want to get hung over again that, i know that, my limits now that's Lord. actually that brings up a good question but before that i will share what i am drinking i'm drinking a red wine I just cracked it open today. My brother Joe got me this for housewarming. It is a uh, Porto, Porto Cruz Finest Ruby Reserve red wine produced from the finest grapes of the Douro Valley, Portugal. Um, it's, yeah. I've tasted it. I've had a few sips already now. It's very sweet. This is like the sweetest red wine I think I've ever had. Um, when it comes to wine, I don't know a lot about them. I will say most white wine is shit. And then red wine, it's like hit or miss for me. This one's pretty goddamn good. So shout out, Joe. Thanks for uh, getting me this, and also a grill. He bought me a grill as well. Very nice of him. Shout, shout out Portugal. Portugal. Shout yeah, shout out fucking the Portuguese. I ain't shouting out no Portugal. Don't be shouting that out on my podcast. You should leave the shout out. I'm just kidding. Shout out um, where you want, but not Portugal. Anyway. But else. Jackson talking about his terrible hangover experience. 
Let's go down the line here. What's uh, what's everybody? Does anybody have a liquor or a beer or something they can can't even look at or will never drink again from a terrible experience? I'll start. Jägermeister. Okay. There was one night I was drinking Jägermeister for like eight hours straight. Like it was it was bad. And then I woke up the next day. I vomited all night. I woke up. I was vomiting. And then I can't even look at Jäger, dude. I can't smell it. It makes me want to vomit. Like it just I can't even get near it terrible for me does anybody else got a story like that oh yeah for me it's fireball when i lived in the that's house a that, good one that's an understanding on the other side of the street paul you had been there a number of times definitely of legal age at the time no doubt but uh we would drink so much fireball there it'd be like a one i never liked it i never liked it i always thought it was bad i i hit a point while living there where i i can't I can't even if I smell cinnamon, I'm just turned off from cinnamon now because of it. Honestly, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see Fireball. that one is like on the same alley as like Jägermeister because it's like that's cinnamon flavored. Jägermeister is like black licorice. And you can see how like too much of that will ruin you. Like you just don't want yeah. it anymore. Absolutely. We go to Superior and you can get them chilled from whatever the Super One liquor is in Superior. Oh, you yeah, yeah. Chilled for you. So you're just ready to rock immediately. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> in your car, drive home. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over the bridge. This would be great. <laughs> I also hey, have a. Uh, yeah, I got one. I got one. Yeah. Uh, Pink Whitney. Pink really? Band. Yeah. That's that newer too. Thing called killed me. It was right before I shipped out the basic training, and I was at my buddy. His name's Tom. Uh, house. And we were having a bonfire, and him and a bunch of his brothers were drinking, and I was drinking, and. It was the most hammered I've ever been in my life, for sure. And I had a sudden craving for a McChicken, and surprise, everybody else did. Um, so we drove. Um, I'm pretty sure the person who drove was sober. Can't confirm. <laughs> yeah. We cannot confirm. Um, but we get there, we order, and I immediately, the drive killed me. It was like a 20-minute drive with twisty turns, and that, that oh. tapped me out, and I threw up on the McDonald's drive through window. Um, on the window? Yep, like, on not, the window. Oh, no, nope. yeah. on the fucking window. 21st McDonald's? On London Ave. Um, oh, yeah. London Road. Yeah. yeah. So, did that, went home, went to bed, and everybody woke up, and it was just like, they were, everyone was scattered. Someone was in the bathtub. I was like on the floor in the living room, and I woke up. I was the first one up, and it looked like a horror story. It looked like people were murdered. Like someone was in the back. Yeah. It was bad. Did the McChicken taste good after you threw it? I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. Oh, no, I didn't eat it. You didn't try on it. No, I was so sad, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was rough. Gross. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Both Jacks, either of you got a story like that at all? Any liquors you would uh, never partake in again? Yeah, the high noons. Keep those keep any flavor away from you. They're disgusting. I don't even want to I can't even look at them, bro. Seriously, gross. Those I are have, very much a once in a while thing again. for me, like most seltzers. Ugh. I don't know how people can just pound seltzers. Like I they're so I know they're easy, but they're just like I don't know. I flavored used to. shit like that. Yeah. Wow. I, I used to anything in lime, I could pound. <laughs> <laughs> Lime's good. Lime's good. Lime is really good. Um yeah, kind of what you got? Anything? Not that I'm sick of it. The first time I got like really destroyed was at a friend's house, and I think it was UV blue. Oh, and Ooh. it's not the worst part. UV blue, and you're like, hey, I want to switch up, be something nice. I had a kind of a richer person's house. I was like, what do you got? And they give me fucking rum chata. I don't even know what beer is. They give me rum chata. It's milk. They pour it out. It's milk. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> UV blued out, and sitting there, I'm like, I could do some rum chata, take like three shots of that, I'm like, I just had a full breakfast, that's what it tastes like. But I remember waking up, I'm like, I could go, it's been like, I haven't had UV blue since, but that was like the first time I got absolutely destroyed. And that's when I could roll up stairs backwards, so instead of going down to grab the <laughs> railing and you could roll up... <laughs> And we saw his dad, the second stair, staring down at us. And I was like, you better get over the way because I'm coming up. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> so it was pretty good. I didn't, I, there's no liquor where I just like smell and instantly get like a visceral like reaction. Um, maybe like if I just sat there and smelled like Jack Downs or like a dark liquor for a second or two, like it would probably make me like want to throw up. Man, you really don't like dark liquor, do you? 
I've only ever had vodka. Constantly, yeah, like, and UV, oh, constantly, yeah, and yeah. UV. Isn't UV just <laughs> vodka with flavoring? Isn't that all it is? It's probably, yeah. yeah. But that was like the first time I actually got drunk. I think I was like twenty. I don't even remember. But yeah, it was just UV blue. I'm like, wow, this looks like a melted popsicle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, chug the whole bottle, and you're like, mm. and that's like the whole. I've never had like super bad gut rot because after that, I switched to uh, Angry Orchards, which are just sugar. And I could just, it was gut rotting, but at that time, you know, yeah, I've never, I'd never woke up just with shit in my britches or, you know, <laughs> pounding headache <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Well, hey, that's good. I hope you don't ever have to cross that bridge, but little switch up of topics here. Um, I just want to say thank you guys all for coming on the show, you know, uh, supporting the show throughout our hundred episodes. We made it to a hundred. That's crazy. I just kind of want to talk about some reflection and. You know, I'm starting to kind of feel like PKA or other podcasts where we always have a bunch of promises and never follow through. So, like, there's a lot of things we've had planned for this channel and things we've wanted to do in the last year, and pretty much none of them have come to fruition. A few things Yeah, we there, fucking but... suck. Don't even watch it. We're <laughs> terrible. We suck. <laughs> um, it's not like we're getting paid or anything. Throw us a dollar every once in a while. Report the video. No, report the no, video. I don't, I don't do this for, like, monetization or anything like that. Um, nah, I just do this because I like it. I think it's fun to just have a conversation a week, whether I have guests or not, you know, just hanging out with my brother, just filming something at least for an hour and just kind of chilling. It's a good kind of, uh, it's a good creative outlet, even though there's not much creativity going into it, but it's nice to just like sit back. Like I can go back at any time and watch any of these hundred episodes now and be like, damn, like look at how much I've changed. And I think that's the weirdest part about it is like going back to even just gutterball one from now. I mean. I don't have hair anymore, and I don't think I ever will again. So that's you know <laughs> gonna be sad, but um, very sad. Oh, Podcast you know what? That Paul is has dark. Hair. That's dark. dark. That's dark shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. want to go back yeah. to the episode yeah. where I got a bowl cut because that was an episode yeah, no, that happened. Good. That was classic. Yeah, <laughs> Chef Five, bring back Chef Five. Yeah, whatever happened to Chef, Chef Five? Five back. Dude, I actually have the script written for him. He got his restaurant taken. Long story short, he's washed oh, up no. and fucked up. I was really thought about like. I legitimately was like trying to plan out how I'm gonna microwave or M80 in my room, but I feel like I can't do that like safely any anyway. Like I think it's just keep that all around. M80. <laughs> yeah, put just lighter, put it in the microwave, turn it on. Don't you I mean, have that, tech <laughs> don't that technically works? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, turn it on. What do you mean? It's got to spin around. It's got no. To actually, you know what? Don't even light it. Just microwave it and see what happens. Don't even yeah. light it. Just microwave it. See what That's happens. That's what will happen. I think it'll ruin. Yeah, I was gonna say. I, I think it'll start a fire. Yeah, it he's might. got like literal half sticks of dynamite, and I've been trying to convince him to light one off in his room, but I think it would be really <laughs> it's bad. It's like a gunshot, dude. It will actually <laughs> take off your hand, like if you hold that, it's your hand will be gone. Um, no, Paul, you got a new house. He's always trying to get me to blow up my yeah, shit. Blow up your goddamn shit. <laughs> Put it inside that CRTV. It's a sombrero. Okay. Blow that up. You were right talking about you wanted to repaint. Blow that room up. No, I'm not <laughs> blowing this room. I'm not ruining the sheetrock. Hey, I'm not blowing up that CRT. That might be worth some actual money someday. It's yeah, spherical. Never... And it's got it's character. Never... It's got a hat on now. <laughs> She's kind of not blowing anything up, but Chef Bile will be making a return. I'll pr I promise you that one. I got, I got hey, some big, fuck! I, I lost got, my Chef hat. I don't know what I did. With I it. have like three hundred gigs of Norway footage that I've barely touched because I'm just like dreading the fact of like lining up audio with video and doing all that shit. And like, I don't know. The more I think about it, and the more I push it off, it's like, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. But I know I'll go edit it like from a year from now, finally, and be like, Jesus Christ, like that trip was awesome. That's kind of like. Kind of what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I'm procrastinating, but it'll be worth it because then I get to go relive everything I shot. You know? Honestly, Paul, I, I've been thinking about what you should do with that. You should do some type of lost footage, like Blair Witch thing, where it's like Paul's journey to Norway. He never made it back. I don't know, he like <laughs> murdered or back. something. You only, need, last, you only need to film tapes. a couple scenes of you getting dragged away or something. And, you know, just the rest of it's just <laughs> the lead. You know, it's like a tease. I think it would work out really well, honestly. Yeah, like as above, Paul, so below yeah. type thing. Go to the catacombs or something. <laughs> cool. Turn it into that. Um, anybody here been w watching any movies lately, new or old? I got one for you. I got one for you. Now, usually I have multiple movies a week, but this week I only have one because the other one I'm still trying to finish. But uh, you guys ever heard of the Mel Gibson movie On the Line? It's on Netflix. Okay, 
I I can't spoil it, but I will say there is like a twist ending and like the the movie threw me for a fucking loop. I'll just say this. The premise is like a dude's like a radio DJ, but he has a radio show at night. Like he's a guy that's on air between like midnight and like 6 a.m. And he'll have like guest callers on the show. And then some guy calls and he's like outside the radio DJ host's house and is like breaking in. And like his wife and daughter are home and it goes the twist endings endings, I should say, get like threw me for a loop. I did not see it coming. I've never seen a movie like it, to be honest with you. I've seen clips. I've seen clips of what you're talking about, specifically when the guy calls in. He's like, I'm outside your house. I took care of the dogs, right? That, 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 yeah, exactly. I've seen, yeah, I've, I've seen what you're talking about, but I haven't seen the movie. Yeah. And w- but when I clicked on it, I'm like, this better not be a movie like there's a movie I saw with Jake Gyllenhaal, where he's, he's like a 911 operator. And it's like the whole movie, he's just on the phone. And I was like, <laughs> I told myself, if I get 45 minutes into this and this dickhead's still in the studio talking to this guy, I'm fucking turning it off. And sure enough, right at like the 40 minute mark, he like gets out of the studio and like things start happening and shit like that, like at the actual broadcast station. I was like, okay, I'll keep watching. And I'm glad I did because the fucking ending's like wild. So check it out on the line on Netflix. Somebody should um they should edit in. Is it Mel Gibson who's calling and he's is he like the No, bad Mel Gibson's guy? the radio host. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I figured they could edit in one of his like conversations with his wife, you know. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. The delete phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty <laughs> Those good. Were bad. Stupid, that bitch. He's <laughs> on his <laughs> railing on her. Yeah. I mean if you just listen to me, I wouldn't get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> like a little fucking gremlin. I was gonna say that kind of reminds me. That kind of reminds me of, uh, I think it was the 1990s, Howard Stern. I'm sure other people have done this, but when he was on the radio, they had supposedly a serial killer that called in because mm-hmm. he'd kidnap like, girls and like kill them. And just like, yeah. so he'd ask them all these like questions. Basically, what it sounded like, Howard Stern's like, oh, so what do you kind of look like? Are you a man? Yeah. Are you kind of big? Yep. Uh, what do you do with the bodies? Oh, I just throw them on the side of the road when I'm done. Like trying to get like a description of this guy. It was just weird because the guy's like, Halfway through, he's like, are you actually a Howard Stern? He's like, yeah, who do you think I, you're talking to? And he's like, oh, okay. I got to be smart about this now that I already told him <laughs> where I was doing this, what I was doing, <laughs> and like all this stuff. I was just like, this is a crazy call. It, it kind of reminds me exactly like that movie you're talking yeah. about. Maybe yeah, not yeah, exactly. But... That's like the, um. if you ever watch like really old, I, I found this from PKA, old Opie and Anthony the lady die this girl who calls in who basically gets like that alcohol where you drink so much alcohol that your brain just turns into fucking soup so she's like actively getting more retarded every time she calls in. It's pretty sad yeah. pretty funny yeah it's pretty pretty funny shit no. <laughs> Good meme. anybody else got any movies new or old that you've watched lately that you've never seen before I know Ricky's not a big movie guy he's never got a fucking movie he doesn't care that's fine <laughs> Which is why if Ricky's ever like, Paul, I need a movie recommendation, I'm going to be like, oh, let me find my list. <laughs> I, watched, uh, I watched War Dogs recently for the first time. Oh, that's honestly. a good movie. That's good like, movie. that's a pretty, that's like, a, I'd give it like a seven and a half out of 10 Jonah Hill movie. Like, it's pretty all right. I like Miles Jonah Teller. Hill is somehow so serious and so fucking funny in almost every movie that I see him in. I know. I would say that's one of his more serious roles, but then he's still got a lot of like funny scenes in it too. Cause yeah. Miles Teller kind of similar where he's got a lot of serious scenes kind of funny in a lot of the movies he's in um, that, that based on a true story. It's a very decent, yeah, my favorite really scene, cool my favorite scene in that whole fucking movie is when he pulls up and when he's in the hood and they screw him mm-hmm. over on the weed and he goes and grabs the fully automatic <laughs> MP5 yeah. out of his trunk and just starts fucking oh, yeah, unloading it into the air yeah. on like the block. He's like, oh, where are we going? I thought we were hanging he, out. Yeah. He doesn't get the weed. He got played. He still got played. And yeah, he, he still got played. He got the money or the weed. Yeah. Well, no, the, the funniest part I liked part him in Moneyball. That. Moneyball's awesome. But yeah. I love his shit eat and laugh after he shoots. He goes, oh. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> like the worst <laughs> thing in the world. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't want to hang out? <laughs> He's just yeah. like oh, unloaded yeah. an MP5 into the air like, like oh, broad my daylight. God. I'd like, uh, if you shoot me, let me hit you once. <laughs> um, if you, Hill, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, Carter, if you like that style of movie, another yeah. one based on a true story, if you haven't seen it, Nicolas Cage, Lord of War, also about arms dealing. Very yes. good. Okay. Is that the one where they're like, 
on the ship and the people are coming and he's like yeah oh, yeah paint the fucking ship or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. That okay. movie, What's it called? That, uh it's called movie. lord of war okay with nicholas cage movie. and we actually, traded that guy yeah a basketball player yeah so funny story that the character that nicholas uh cage plays we traded that guy back to russia for britney griner hmm. that's crazy a dumb yeah. lesbian can you believe it can you believe it? i can yep i blame jack and his <laughs> <laughs> Ser- okay let's be real here though any of you guys ever i mean i've barely traveled outside the u.s once norway but have any of you guys traveling mm-hmm. outside the u.s not gone through every single pocket and everything you're bringing because she just claims she happened to just not know that the the dab oh, pen was sure. in her luggage shut the fuck up she's probably too the, high there, in there's no way there's no way i wouldn't know that that was there unless it was playing no she it just thinks i'm an entitled little professional yeah. women's NBA player so I can do what I want. And yeah. then she got caught and then she got sent to the fucking gulag. And <laughs> so, I mean, she yeah, fucking she, shit on, kid. She had, to fight, on. she had to fight the gulag to get redeployed. Fuck yeah, the war zone. Yeah. God. Here's the, here's the little thing about lesbians. They're kind of like mythical creatures. The taller they are, the dumber they are. Keep that in mind whenever you interact with them. You see a short lesbian. She's smart. She also hates men. But the tall ones, you know, they're just really dumb. I don't know. I, that's just my experience with lesbians, personally. So, oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was dumb. I would never go to a foreign country at all in general. But I'm definitely not bringing the weed over. That sounds fucking yeah, really that's dumb. Fucking so stupid. I was gonna say, I Rick has more traveling experience than I have. But like, I've been to Canada and Norway now. Um. I guess I, I, you know, I smoke weed, but I never even thought about even trying to, like, smuggle anything over Why? the border like, lines. But, but at the same time, there's a couple of people there um, that Excuse easily, you know, they had little, like, dab carts, basically. But, you know, you put it with certain items, like your bath stuff, and they got to buy it fine. Um, I think it could, the whole situation was a bit dumb. Obviously, she was probably dumb for not, like, checking her stuff, or she put it there and purposely don't know. But at the same point, I mean, one, never probably would go to Russia. Yeah. But, uh, uh, they're my new favorite people <laughs> to give a little hugs to and go, ha-ha. <laughs> Zach gets, or Zach, uh, Jack gets uh, drone striked right now and just the camera cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, are they awesome. wanting the paper planes? What are they gonna do to me? Spending <laughs> their whole life against anyway. Yeah, the whole the Brittany Gardner stuff. Um, I, I just I've seen a lot of people easily like quote unquote smuggle it. It's just like it's not worth the risk to what get high a couple times yeah. on vacation. And then, I mean, again, I don't know the like super depth in the story. I don't know. If she was like saying obviously she she's different race than me. Easily, yeah. I go. So far through all airport security, like yeah. I work on the plane, they look at me. And I'm like, yeah, my shoes are a bit thick, and I stare at them. And they're like, all right, you better keep those on. And I'm like, <laughs> walk through the airport security, just fine. I've never been bothered, but yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. Russia's terrifying. If you're going to like yeah. Norway, England, whatever, I probably wouldn't care that much. I be- but still, I've never tried to like travel with non-prescribed or like drugs. Yeah, well, well like mm, Russia I've too been. is very like dangerous and scary especially with the conflict going on lately so it's like it's almost like a cop encounter right you get pulled over for speeding you know are you gonna get a cop that's having a good day a cop that's having a bad day have you been warned before it's like that like you i know plenty of people that have just flown with a dab cart in their luggage not even like hidden just in their zipper like it's a normal nothing normal happens day. they do it yeah. all the time yeah like it's a normal day yeah, i mean I um do. Do like not do that to denver mm-hmm. I flew, I flew from Denver to Duluth with quite a bit of weed, not to Duluth, Minneapolis, quite a bit of weed. Nothing happened. Assumedly. Like, ah, whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, allegedly. This isn't, you know what? No, I'm base. I don't need to hide it behind in <laughs> Minecraft. Base. I get it. I'm about to don't, get 20 don't, grand. Don't come with me. <laughs> Keep talking. Yeah, turn me in. I'm a fucking drug smuggler. Um, I'm going to go pick it up. I'm actually going to pick up some stuff in the mail. It said, come collect your package. Just message me. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> hypothetically know somebody that went to Arizona and took a bunch of uh, dab carts and put them inside of a sealed pack of caramel corn and then resealed it with a, um, what's it called? A hair straightener, melted the package shut as if the caramel corn was never open and I shipped it back via USPS. And How much yeah. do you care about this person, Paul? Like a lot? Because that's pants on head retarded. 
Like that's <laughs> stupid. You know what no, no, right? No, they no, see no, through no, everything, no, right? No, 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 no. Actually, yes, but only in like certain like large <laughs> cities, I think. But I, I guess I feel like uh, that's more stuff. I feel like it's just I, way worse. I don't know. Put the, it in there. the thing about it is like I know I I've known people that have shipped stuff everywhere and they've like never had a problem. But then you hear about the stories of like FPS Russia using the postal service and he gets he gets beamed. But I think or gets beamed. But Your I think name. the reason why that is is because he also had like a big name and he also had all the guns. So like it just like you're, you're a alert. target. You're a public figure. Yeah, you're a public yeah. figure at that point. Like when he had as many subscribers and stuff as he had and the success with all the guns, like they're just looking for something to fuck you on, you know? Mm-hmm. I've had illegal stuff shipped to me multiple times. Yeah. Oh, hey, allegedly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, no, no, I'll say it. everybody I does. So it's... I got seven other. Bu- <laughs> no, no. Okay. So it's basic. No, not basic training, but AIT. It's like a less basic yeah. training, but you're still under like restrictions and shit. And people would take, I'd have people at home take uh, shampoo bottles and wrap vapes in Ziploc bags, shove them in the shampoo bottle and close it up and ship me shampoo. Like yeah, yeah. Like jail. <laughs> yeah, and then they'd, I'd get it and they, the, the, the drill sergeant stuff, they knew what was up, but what are they going to do? Open my shampoo bottle and throw it on the floor? No, you're just going to give me they my shampoo bottle. That's why. Uh, no, right. not during like a training environment, which sucks. I also was like using like long cut grizzly chew <laughs> disgusting but you know you had to get what you had to get so yeah. that's how it goes <laughs> you got to do what a man's got to do when you're in basic right yeah so sometimes i'd be like walking down the street and i'd see like a cigarette bud and i'd be like we pick that up <laughs> you're, getting- <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> being, you're trying to suck bad, the yeah. extra nicotine out of your fingers from when you pick yeah. up the chew you're like, yeah yeah right you see a person that's been straight smoking the wall <laughs> um, i was gonna bad. say you see yeah. someone smoking cigarettes for 20 years, you must smoke their yellow fingers to get the left. Oh, uh, okay. No. Okay, never mind, never mind. Mm. <laughs> right, eat here again. So <laughs> I, I never personally had this done. I've known people that did. Did any of you guys ever get like a fake ID like made and shipped to you or anything when you were underage? I never went down that path. Um, I know a couple people that did. Did any of you guys ever get fake IDs like when you were underage? I was a loser, so I was like, "Why do I need a fake ID? I ain't going nowhere." So I just never yeah. had the need for one. You know, oh, you're asking uh... a bunch of people, like, "Hey, did you do something cool?" No, none of us have. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I just, I just I'm thought about it. I thought it'd be a good question because <laughs> I would use my, uh, I would use my military ID sometimes, and they would just look at it and be like, "Okay, you're good." Yeah, oh, oh, that's, that's smart. nice. By the time yeah. I was fucking what 15, I was able to get whatever I wanted whatever right. i want i'll take an acid so it's like ah why don't you yeah, have bars going wrong? Take an acid. That's, that's my bar trip i'll pretend i went yeah, well, it's two people <laughs> older than me ever since i graduated high same school, so yeah yeah okay yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um no i know one friend that that got a fake id shipped to him and they like sent him a purse and it was like in the lining of the purse like they stitched it in i'm like Dude, this is like really fucking hardcore for a fake ID, but I guess if it ever gets back to them, like they're getting in real trouble for producing those and uh, especially mm-hmm. making money off of it. So um, I forget what that site was called. Everybody used it. It was like the one to use for fake IDs. Because right, right. well, what? Paul, they... Yeah, I was going to say at East, we know a person that was making a couple of fake IDs easily. Yeah, if you... no, I remember the site. It was ID God. That's who it was. It might have been that, <laughs> but we had a personal buddy, yeah, you know, that yeah, used to yeah, sell that. To yeah, people. we knew somebody that looked, would make them too. They looked decent. They, they did look decent. decent. Yeah. The thing that ID got or those companies did is they would try to make you an ID from a state that didn't get, because a lot of states, there's still even what some I that remember. haven't updated to like hologram. Like, mm. if you've noticed, a lot of the new IDs are very intricate. They got like stamping and like holographic stuff in between it to like, make it so it's like a you know it's only been made by this place and it's very hard to replicate and so like minnesota's done that wisconsin's done that now um but connecticut i think is still the ones that are super basic <laughs> like white background like yeah. nothing at all to like that you could easily do so like id god only did specific states and like montana's one of them um connecticut is and i was just wondering if you guys had any experience with that but I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I've never. I don't know what goes into making a fake ID. I gotta assume you gotta have some type of like card printer and, and stamping. But it'd It'd be that hard. Interesting. Let's probably this. I mean, yeah, it won't be hard. I don't think. 
I think you do it pretty easy. I think they just need to bring everything to 18, include driving. Make it driving age 18, drinking 18, go to war 18. I think we're all good at even weed 18. I think you're good to go. I think you'd have a better country because of it. Make a lot more money. <laughs> Build up the infrastructure. What do you think about that? If, dude, I, I don't know a lot how they of, gave uh, me a license at 16. That was wild. I feel like a lot of people would, like, they'd, people would lose a lot of workers if That's you true. weren't able to drive at 16. So yeah. the big thing is, That's like, true. in, I think it's Kansas, because I grew up a little bit on a farm. Fuck Kansas. So, Sorry. That's it. Happy 100th, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, all I was going to say is, like, my family, I live in Kansas, and technically you can drive a certain type of vehicle at, like, 14 if you're, like, on a farm, so if it's, like, a tractor track, or anything. Yeah. yeah. But, but I remember working, because I grew up in Minnesota all my life, but I remember going to Wisconsin and being on, like, farms where I drove, like, tractors at 14, like, on city streets. And, like, as long as regulation, I have many cops just drive by, none of them, like, look, because, you know, I didn't look at least, you know, I was, like, eight, and I could barely hold the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, 18 might be a little rough. I mean, for drinking, I'd understand. I feel like if you could die for, like, this is, like, I think non everyone would agree. If you can die for the country, you should have a drink. Everyone yeah. knows, like, at least we, for the federal, it should be, like, imagine, if you could smoke weed, we have a friend. Caleb, that was on here before. That if you could smoke weed, the everyone signing up for like the uh, was it signing up for the army would like triple, if not quadruple, because they're having such like a hard time with that. If I could smoke weed legally, easily, not tax out of my asshole, I'd never drink again. Yeah, you know when I, mean, I smoke I weed, drink because of it. Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason I do. And if I smoke weed, and I'm looking at my neighbors. Before I smoke, I'm like, I'll break into their house. I smoke weed, I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this funny video I watched four years ago again. I I think uh, I think 16's fine for driving. I think that's the only one that should be excluded. But what I think we should do is just change everything, including legal adult age, to 20. Drinking at 20, smoking at 20, you to become an adult at 20, or move everything to 21. Because I just I, I but also too what that means is like I think you shouldn't be able to enlist or go fight for your country until you're 20. I just think we, I, I do agree with the thing that, like, it's dumb. You can't have a drink, but you can go fight for your country at 18. It's like, we almost need to, like, meet in the middle. 20 is everything or something. It just makes more sense to me. But, mm. nah, fuck know. the middle. 18, meth, heroin, ketamine, all of it. Just legalize it all. Shroom. Legalize everything. If you're under yeah. 18, we should just get rid of you. <laughs> Stop it. Not Stop it. Idea. <laughs> okay, so in the Walking Dead Telltale, there's a little like that zombie game, there's a little like community where they kill the old and the sick. I don't know. Not I, bad, not never bad felt, I never felt like they were the bad guys the whole time <laughs> in the game. I'm like, I might got something going on here. I might be right here. It's big, a new big way. Brain, big brain. Yeah, I mean, they yeah, did that like, in the community. Yeah, they did that in smaller tribes way back in the day. You can just kind of let like the old sick person walk out and go on his own, or you know, you beat him to death because you didn't have enough stuff. Oh. They did that in America in like the twenties. That's just eugenics. Hey man, you we're not in the twenties anymore. or crippled, and you just kill them like, Just come on Earth. We can take care of these old fucks. <laughs> that's uh, that's horrible. Wasn't there a certain culture where they would like at a certain age jump off a cliff? What was that? It was like Midsummer did that or something? Yeah, Midsummer and isn't that based off a real a culture real though? They do that same shit. Yeah, yeah. Like Norway and Sweden. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> It's like once you're like too old or like useless, you would just like go fucking walk off a cliff. Saw that movie in theaters, had no idea what I was expecting. So, you know, first half of the movie, if you guys seen it, you know, it's like, oh, look how sweet we're taking some shrooms. And I'm like, what's going on? I see the two, spoiler alerts, two old people jump off the cliff. I'm like, ooh, interesting. Ooh. I think old then, people should be used for a uh, blood donation. Tinder. Like, oh, okay, never. it should be harvested. Should be like yeah. they're like they're hooked up to a machine and constantly being milked for well, blood. Like, like, like you're over a certain age, you got to go get blood once a week. All right, what are you, what are you doing anyways? You're golfing and fucking smoking. I don't know. Fucking yeah, falling over and cracking your head man. open because you don't have enough yeah. blood. Kill him. Yeah, yeah, kill him. Go all the way. <laughs> Hook them up to VR and then just constantly pump their blood. Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know what they yeah, don't know what is. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but in the VR, it's like you're having them play like I don't know, fucking. In the VR, you're fl- getting blood. Fl- 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 phlebotomist <laughs> simulator. Someone's just taking your blood. Oh, anyway. that's, oh my god, Jesus that's Christ! Terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> you're just dark. That's like worse than the Matrix, man. <laughs> that's that's 
<laughs> you put them in a you put them in five nights at freddy's like permanently. yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so i think if nah, you I... put somebody in five nights at freddy's for like 10 plus years i think they would forget about like the back half of their life i think all they would know is five nights at freddy's i think you the should war. we should experiment <laughs> by putting a schizophrenic in a vr headset fucking let him play like vr <laughs> battlegrounds <laughs> or something and see what happens yeah, maybe you would like you know, yeah you'd read like no, maybe no, like yeah, probably just take it off <laughs> that's why we need Neuralink, so they can't take it off yeah mm. well, <laughs> they well about... and they can still mm. see sure. you you heard about the first human trials of Neuralink, yeah, right they fucked it up and took well, like, everything really from well. that guy it, it, it went really well and it worked but like two weeks after it started like detaching from his head like it just wouldn't stay it's like your body you know like your body can reject like a certain heart even if it's yeah. your same blood type and everything it started like rejecting and it just like literally like it uh forced itself out of like his skull or like out of his skin just like fell off that's crazy well, that's but, but it was working supposedly like mm. i didn't see a ton on it but the dude was playing chess with like he's a quadriplegic i think he couldn't use anything from the neck down he was playing mm. chess on a computer with that thing which is kind of crazy it's awesome i i read about it and the guy was like yeah the first day after the surgery I stayed up all night playing Civ, Civ Six or something. <laughs> oh yeah, because he was able that's to sick. control his mouse. He could just play games. I was like, "That's awesome." That is just awesome. On, yeah, just on that story because it's like that that plate that goes on your skull, and then the wires. I forget what the wires are technically card, called that actually connect inside your brain to like yeah a different electrical pass. Those were the parts that were unlinking. So like the big plate was still like stuck on his head fine. It's just basically oh. what I think when I was unlinking, either he was losing control or like at that point it could bounce back and damage more of the brain. Not saying like you were wrong or anything. It was just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's the first I got in the point. And they were like, yeah, instead of risking more internal damage, we could technically take it out. I don't know if they talked about you know when they update it or get like better. I don't know how they attach it actually to the brain. They yeah. might try it again. I don't know that part of the story. Yeah, that makes so. sense. Like, if they're using... I didn't know the intricacy of it. Like, if they're actually using wires to different parts of the brain, or if it was just that puck with a bundle of wires under it that, like... I don't know. I the don't know how the wires it works. Inside the brain that go to different parts. Dude, I, that I sounds so. gnar to, like, yes. get to function. <laughs> like, But your brain has no pain sensitivity. That's why when you see, like, uh, brain surgery, people are, like, playing guitar, like, yeah. doing something. Because, yeah. yeah. one, they want to make sure you're, you know, cognizant and you can actually still do stuff. So, you know, if they fuck up, it's like, I can't I do that. I would <laughs> rather be complete. If I have to have anything just, done to my head, I'd rather be completely I, asleep, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. Well, that's why they sometimes keep you up. Yeah, they pretty sure they do keep you up always, but I don't know. I don't. I don't want those Neuralink freaks around me. To well, be honest, I was, was going to ask, would you guys get any? Would you guys get it in the future? Yeah, in the if future. I'm going to be the one stomping their heads in, we're going to have this is going to be some. <laughs> there you go. Head 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 head. Who moves ahead? Um, yeah, the yeah, only that's the issue, Brainiac. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> These like fuckers are going to rule the world. Mind grain. The only You're way unlock I, I'd, telepathic the shit. only way I'd even consider it is if I was in like a person like that's shoes, the first guy, like quadriplegic, it really doesn't have much else going on, can't even wipe my own ass. Then I'd fucking it then I'd like maybe consider on. it. Yeah, you know, you know well, he doesn't have a lot going on. You don't He's know, fucking... Paul, you might be doing stuff. Bro, I used to take care of quadriplegics. They don't got a lot going on. They just don't. <laughs> it's sad. It push me in the water at that point, like honestly. Just tie some yeah. rocks to your feet and throw you in the pool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Do you see that guy though? That one swimmer who only has like one leg. He like won though. He like that Chinese swimmer dude. Like he's like a really? world record holder. Yeah, he's, he's got phenom? less drag. You ever think about that? Yeah. He's, oh, drag, he's got dude. less drag. There's no way. Yeah, he dude, won. He's zoom. He did. I'm serious, dude. He's zooming. That motherfucker's so like, crazy. Ha, is he like a mermaid? Does he like he's like actually like that? It? Yeah, Paul. Oh Le- legitimately. Look this guy really? up. He's a legend. He's, oh, yeah, I'm not even joking. Right. I mean, it's fast. I'll see him in the Olympics and then we'll talk. Yeah, you might. Maybe he is in the Olympics. Well, maybe they, you know. He's got a really what do you have to call the water. normal Olympics? The normal. Oh, right. Yeah, he'll never make it to those. No, no, no. That. Well, yeah, he'll probably kick ass in the Special Olympics for sure. I'm just like, two legs. <laughs> have you seen my thighs? I'll beat anyone. <laughs> Be lucky Rick, this well, is a 100 this standing year. stream. Now, I know I know a few, I mean, all of us here have different jobs. Uh, a few of us have, like, computer-based jobs. But I kind of want to talk to this, like, with, like, Ricky and Jack. Like, 
working like personally for me working in it makes me just like currently not want to touch computers after work like even my own um yeah and at first separate workspaces helped but now it's like i just don't want to have anything to do with anything technical like for me like after work now i'm like working on my house or watching tv or just doing something where i don't know man just being on a keyboard and mouse has really just been a turn off for me lately and i'm wondering how you guys deal with that or if you've ever dealt with that or go through spells of it i know ricky manages it pretty well but i don't know if anybody else here has dealt with that where you just go through phases of like and this doesn't have to be necessarily computer related like if your job like if you're a cook or whatever do you just like not want to fucking cook like you know like how does that shit all work for you guys I went through that super hard when I worked at Sighton while going to school at the same time. That was the worst. That was the worst. I would go to school for whatever, six hours, and then I would go to Sighton for another six to seven hours, and then I would be expected to go home to do homework for another four hours. I'm like, fuck this. Fuck this. This is yeah. awful. I hate all of it. I hate yeah. all of you. So that was I that forgot was you worked at Sighton. That place is terrible from what I've heard, like any other MSP, but... <laughs> it wasn't i learned a lot i learned a lot but i i did not have fun there and i might have enjoyed it more if i wasn't doing school at the same time if it wasn't you go home and then you have to do the same thing you were doing for like eight hours or whatever that sucks that was awful i did not cope with that well but uh covid forced me to be able to manage it a little better i don't know that's good anybody else I was going to well, say, before can, anyone, oh, sorry. I, I have yeah, like a list. It's my yeah. podcast. Because, I was going to say, yeah, he's my podcast. down. That's why oh. how damaged he is. Go ahead, Jack. I had a list of things that Paul, if Paul says everyone has to drink, and one of them was IT. Is Paul mentions IT or any of that? So y'all got to drink. drink. That's just a rule. Fuck. Dude, my, I'm going to have like the purple lips and wine stained teeth by the end of this. I'm going to look like a fucking I'm not going to have ball. any desk space left at the end of this. Fine, purple people eater. Head ass. Your veneers don't stain that easy. Remember you told me? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they are veneers. Porcelain yeah, veneers. Fuck my ass. No, it's all right. Have you, seen, get... veneers? Have you I... seen what they do to put veneers in? They no, I don't. Oh, point. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Steve-O got it's hot. Oh, it's, it's, I would never do it. It's nasty. I always said, like, if I get curb stomped or lose all my teeth somehow horribly, I'm just going to get, like, the biggest Steve Harvey teeth I can possibly get as, oh, like, a yeah. meme. You said you're gonna give those best BJs around town, but and then you get it. <laughs> well, I'll do that too. I'll take them out. Come on. Thank you. Oh, Help a brother out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get Steve Harvey teeth and then do blackface. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, whoa. that's too far. My dad. That's a good idea. Blow the bros is fine. <laughs> Girl mustache. No, I'm with it. <laughs> Potato. I'll How about donate. you? Carter, anything like that where you've had it doesn't even have to be a current job where you've had a job that like, it's like, fuck, you get home and it's like almost doing something similar to it. it's like, God, this sucks. Have you ever encountered anything like that or or have you always worked jobs that are pretty different from from your like out of work interests? I typically after work dislike people 80 percent more that dude, I've worked in food industry, customer service. Totally get what you mean. Crickets what did that to me. I just, I just want to talk to anyone. I just, I just, I just want to be myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just want to chill on your own. Yeah. I so get you. I, I, even like my girlfriend, which I feel kind of bad, but I'm like, it's kind of hard sometimes. But that's her problem. I make it work. Yeah, that's fast. her problem. You know, I, I, I'm working remote now, so things are a little different. But you know, there used to be a time where. I would come home from work and it didn't really matter the job because I've been with Destiny and like she's been with me through a bunch of different jobs and. There used to be a point in time, but it doesn't really happen so much anymore where when I get home from work, like, because now I don't actually really leave all that often, you know, I work from home. But when I would get home, I just tell her, like, I just need like a half an hour of just like Dude. unwinding, like, just leave me alone. Like, you can it's tell me so how my real. day is like a half. It's just like in the in, in where, where I learned that from or heard that is like when I was in an IT school drink, when I was in IT school, um, we had like a guy from the NSA come and visit the class, a guy that was credentialed. And he told us about like how a lot of the stuff he, you know, he knows or does in his job, he cannot talk to his wife about like it's classified info. So he said, like, when I get home, I tell her and she knows I just need a half hour to an hour to just unwind nothing, just kind of like detach from what I just got done doing all day. 
And then, and it's like, I kind of feel that's where I kind of learned that. And it's like, I used to have to do that a lot. And it's very real. And like, Carter, I'm sure you do the same thing. It's like, I need like a half hour to an hour, please, you know, like, even though you love your girlfriend, you know, whatever, we all do. Like, we all love our girlfriends, right? Um, I love Carter's girlfriend too. Yeah, yeah. Jack loves Carter's girlfriend. Sorry, a little buzz. Um, but it's just like, you need, you need to, you need to detach. You need transition. You need transition from work mode to not work mode. Yeah. It's hard. If I'm in work mode, if I'm going hard, she no works with you, so that's also yeah. hard. Yeah, oh, I love, I love Jackson's girlfriend. I'm just saying. Go ahead, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what? What? Like I guess what? Of, text? But like, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> but what I will say is this: is even if you have a long commute, even if you have a long commute, that doesn't fucking matter. It's like you. It, the commute doesn't matter. Driving does not count. It's like, oh yeah, I have a half hour drive home. That doesn't count. It's like you need that. It's getting undressed from your work clothes environment. Yeah. You know, figuring out what you're going to do for the evening, just like without, you know, and that it's totally a real thing. And I'm glad that I'm not the only one here that's kind of felt that or has to go through that <laughs> sometimes, you know. Oh, it's super real. I uh, I have that issue. Henry gets it now, too, but I would have that issue with Henrietta. I'd be like, I just need to unwind. I'm in work mode because she we we talk about stuff and then I'd answer her like right after work. I'm pretty I'm kind of blunt. I'm kind of quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of, you know. Yeah, you're talking a lot, but you're not saying much. You need to say what you mean, kind of deal. Yeah, I get yeah, home. yeah, yeah. And and that's <laughs> A B. Tell me. Yeah, right. And that's that's kind of lame on a normal level. But when I'm in work mode, I'm like, that's just how it is. You you're, you're yeah. wasting so much time. Get to the point. But that's yeah. yeah. You, I, I you figured it out. I don't know if anybody else was like this, but like when I was a kid, whenever my dad got home, I was like, dad, I have to tell you about this, this, that, dad, you know, like I'd always just like annoy my dad immediately when he got home, whether it was this, this or that. And some days it'd be like, oh yeah, my dad's in a good mood. But some days it'd be like, oh, like leave me alone. Right. And it's yeah. just like, you would just now, now I understand away. though. Like, why didn't I understand that as a kid? But it's like, now I understand. It's not your fault for being a kid. I know, yeah, but like, right. Not a I know, but it's just like you looking back on that, just... right? I'm sure you guys have yeah, encountered yeah, yeah. something similar to that. You're no, sure. for sure. Yeah, Mom, yeah. dad, it... whatever. Yeah. I, I used guess... to go, so my dad used to work. My dad has an auto body shop. He used to, it was right outside my house. So I'd go out yeah. there and annoy him sometimes. And he'd be like, just go inside, watch three episodes of SpongeBob. And then I'll be in and we'll talk. And, okay, dad. Fine. Yeah. My, 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 my concept of time was spongebob episodes <laughs> hell yeah i mean my concept of time was courage to cowardly dog episodes at that point in my life so i totally understand <laughs> that could be a crazy pivot because imagine i don't know the earliest you can like imagine uh yourself like consistently like say if it's like fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth grade whatever because i can consistently remember in like sixth grade where i was the first one up i was the youngest in my household my parents are very old compared to like the normal parents my my brother is six and a half years older than me my dad right now i think is fucking close to 70 i don't know i'm 26 but like the whole thing is like me waking up no one's awake, so I have to kind of be quiet. We had our own basement to myself, so I'm watching, like, shitty cartoons. I, lo I loved them. I get to a point, 8 a.m., I watch cartoons for two hours. My mom gets up. You know, I'm not playing with her or anything, but I'm, like, watching TV real loud, and I hear my brother on the other side of the wall, because he was, like, 19 probably at the time, just punching it because I was too loud. I'm like, I'm bored as fuck. What am I supposed to do? I, I don't know what you want me to do. You want to do something, guys? Well, it's not past, like, 9 a.m. yet. I'm like, I'm cracked out of my mind. <laughs> so i just get triggered yeah i being up i yeah it's just the whole time being younger and how time move it seemed like so much slow lower if you didn't have like something like instantly like you know it did uh, and now it doesn't now it seems like i'm sure you encounter this a week, there's not enough a week, time a week there's not a enough week. time there's too many things to do mm -hmm. in a day that's what i've been running into lately it's like fuck uh i want to continue setting up my uh network server but you know all i do is it and then when I get off work, I just want to relax. And then on the weekends, it's like, well, fuck it. Work? I need to do yep. yard work and go grocery shopping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get like the going to sleep. I'll like lay down for 10 hours, but it feels like 30 seconds. 
once you do that for like three months you're just so angry all the time like 10 hours just 30 fucking seconds every morning i wake up i'm like just in a daze like you wake up already you're fucking gasping for air i am that happens i've been choking to death in my sleep all the time especially with the ants and the spiders it's bad man i'd be drowning wakes up on the toilet well i'm done (laughs) I, i wish i had narcolepsy then i'd have an excuse do you think you yeah. can fake it? I think it's one of those things you could just people fake a lot. Narcolepsy. Yeah, I'm just sleeping. Probably sleeping now. I, I do want to say though, I totally relate to Jack on that point of like when you're younger, it seems you like you relate. have all the time in the world, but then when you are an adult, you don't even have enough time to get fucking one thing done. It seems, adult man, being an adult. Fuck. My thing is, my girlfriend does have narcolepsy, so Jack, you're the worst person I've ever. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> She's making it up. You should test no, her. Pull some at her head. She while she she it lying, up. Dude. You just called me <laughs> on it right away. She's fucking lying. Yeah, right? Fucking <laughs> bullshit. No way. Grab it. <laughs> it's not a real thing. Hey, the, hey as much as being Women. gay is not a real thing, everyone's the same. In our head space. We're all the same, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought about, you know, your girlfriend does, like, news station stuff. Have you ever thought about, like, bombing one of her projects? Like, just being, like, out in the wilderness or something in one of her shots? You're like, can we clarify bomb? Behind a tree? Yeah, I took that literally. That was my bad. <laughs> can we bomb? Hate- yeah. Bomb? We bomb? She- she's recording. <laughs> Hi, Jack. This plane rides the bomb. Um, my friend used to tell me uh, Yari, our friend, he's like I could never come to the airport with you because I'd be like Hi Jack, this plane rides the bomb because we'd be flying." Oh god, let's not even <laughs> talk about that Let's not even bring that up That's awesome you're thinking of. Yeah, That was about terrible that. Yeah, because okay. they're retarded Let's just put it this way. When I was coming back from Norway, I was with a few specific individuals that went to the wedding, and they kept bringing up bomb in the airport. And I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm not trying to get fucking taken to fucking get my ass looked at and get a fucking hand shoved up it. I'm not trying to get cavity searches. Shut up. Like, and they just like, they brought it up two different times. I was like, I literally, Wait, do the second time, I don't know. The second time I just started walking like away from them. I didn't even say anything. I just took like my luggage. I just started walking the other way. Like just like separating myself. Wait, I'm out right, of here. Dude. Right. How were they using? Could you use it in a sentence like, man, it really suck if someone bombed this airplane? Or no, was it like, let's I'm, just say I'm this. gonna bomb this airplane? They, were, a big saying, difference between they that. were saying something. They were talking about using bomb in airport. They're just like, man, it, it'd be weird. It was something like we had just gotten through the checkpoint where we got all of our stuff checked, yeah. and they go like, "Man, I'm glad they didn't." Or like something like it was something and find like the gun. What that what was it? Is like yeah, it's like what are they looking for? A bomb? And it's like even yeah. still, you shouldn't say that like bomb. And then the is there a lot? other person ended up saying like, "What's wrong with talking about bombs in an airport?" And I'm like, "Shut the fuck up, please stop." Like, thanks, Rick. I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't. No I don't idea. know these people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I like they, the if bear. somebody would have come and asked me questions because of that, I would be like, I don't know who these people are. I, I would <laughs> say they're terrorists. You should see <laughs> more. Spot if I don't. You do. I don't know them. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> what do you mean? No. Who are these people? You got out of the Uber with them. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You should have just said, I don't know them. They're probably terrorists. You should check check them out. But I got a flight to catch. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, I remember my parents like saying that in the eighties. Like, it just they were just like, yeah, you just walked on the plane and you took off. There's no one checked your shit. It was like, yeah, get on the plane. That was when we were a proper country, you know. You yeah. Could smoke on an airplane, dude. Dude, Wait, that, I mean, what? Be... that seventies. Yeah. I would. I want to smoke on an airplane. That sounds like I want. To that would pass the time places. so much easier. Rick, yes. If I was supposedly to smoke on an airplane, I take my vape. Take my willy out in the bathroom, start pissing hard as I can, where you almost break the back, take a rip, and when you flush, since it's the suction current and shoots it out of the plane, you go, ooh. This is some high thinking. This, a terrible idea. <laughs> I got, okay, I have never done that, and I've never done that multiple times. <laughs> Man, I had not- just a strong piss stream. That's all the thing I'll agree to. My, yeah, exactly what you were saying, Jack. My dad, or our dad said that, like, it was never easy. Like it was so much easier to fly compared to now. Like he's like, you have no idea. He's like, they wouldn't check the passport. They wouldn't do anything. It's just like, here's your ID. You go through. 
and you get on the plane. There wasn't security checks. You didn't have to wait in a fucking line. It was like you got your ticket and you went right to the boarding area. That was it. Like so cool. Like yeah. Amy Cooper, you can't do that anymore. Stupid. No. Why can't I bring my own parachute? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. But this if was you a topic show up, before. You will go to jail. Yeah, that's fucked up because Why it's can't like I bring my own gun. <laughs> Well, it's, it's like, like the I don't trust you know, the air marshal. I get the gun right. thing, but it's like, why can't you bring your own parachute? Well, because you're planning on the plane going down. No, yes, that's how <laughs> it looks. But it's like I'm it's preparing. Like, it's it's like a, yeah, it's like a what if? It's like when you go to the when you go when you go on a hike, right? You bring ample food, water, maybe like some type a of first spray. aid kit. Bear spray. Yeah. When I go on a plane, I bring a parachute in the event some dickhead wants to crash it or we lose an engine, you know? Like I don't bring a nuclear bomb to go camping just in case I come on to commies. <laughs> <laughs> like you understand that the yeah. sitting well, there I mean, I mean not the gas, the O2 tank on my back, sitting right next to the door. One bump, I'm opening they, this. They bring uh <laughs> just shoot they have, like life preservers on the plane. Just yeah. in case you fucking land in the water. If you land. Which is like almost the best case solution. Can I bring my own life jacket? Oh. Yeah, can I bring my... Can... But that doesn't make fucking sense, because then they're planning, just in case, you know, the plane goes in the water. Yeah. Oh, so you I'm an asshole if I bring a parachute, yeah. just in case. Oh, fuck, this yeah, guy's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> go no. down over the continent of the united states what the fuck am i gonna do I mean, realistically what would happen is it'd be like we lost engine one we're going down brace for impact and i'd be like and i'm putting on my parachute yeah, and perfect. then everybody else is fighting me for it they're like ass. fuck you yeah. they're kicking my ass yeah oh and imagine imagine you're the guy on the plane that doesn't have the parachute and the guy rips open the fucking door and everything <laughs> <laughs> now nah, everyone's like oh, oh, fly out shit right you're just being stuck on the door <laughs> Yeah, one bump. I'm opening the door. We're out. We're I can't understand the no parachute thing. Don't I, open the fucking door. Are, <laughs> are those are those yeah. doors? No one really gets sucked out, right? Like that's like fake. People get sucked out. They get sucked. It was a Delta thing. No, it's a Boeing thing. Just a couple months ago. That's right. Where people because everyone was cheated because it was in the in the whatever when they were gaining altitude. Everyone was cheated, but everything got sucked out the window because the door just exploded out. <laughs> Yeah, so, having a shit ton of problems so, right now. Does anybody? Bowling, I haven't been on bomb. many planes, but are all of those exit doors placed behind the turbine or in front of the turbine? Yeah, because you jump off. Because I would like to go in there. I would like to really know. They're not. They're not. They're not all because there's two. There's one in front and behind. There's either two yeah. in front or right two one. In the there's no way you that if the engine's running, you don't get sucked into that motherfucker no, and no up the turbine. There's no <laughs> fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you jump on. It's just a red mist. It's gone. <laughs> they give you life preserve. Not to jump on at 30,000 feet and be like, oh. hey, better hit water. <laughs> you know, you got to get one of those like those fucking tubes that you pull the rip cord and they shoot up underneath the water. You got to get one of those. Pull it and pull it in midair and just ride that baby down. I was gonna say, yeah. if you're driving a car, how come you don't wear those motorcycle outfits that like when they sense like a crash, mm -hmm. they all inflate instantly? Like imagine being out the car oh, in your car, you hit a hard stop sign and the whole thing goes off. <laughs> you're sitting there, kind of like fuck. <laughs> Does, I, I wonder if Ricky's uh, company's got something like that built into the suits. The the airbag? Or actually, no, it's a thing that just goes around your neck, right? And doesn't it just... You can buy a suit in an airbag. Yeah. You, can, you, can get a, you can get a vest. You can get a vest that'll uh, understand the difference in Gs if you get in, a, in, in an accident. Yeah. That's pretty cool. See, it's that, it's like, way that's better it. than... You've seen, there's shitty ones. There's shitty ones that I've seen a bunch of influencers and in, like, I think it was Mythical Morning do for like bicyclists that go yeah. like over your head oh but yeah. this is just a preserve this is assuming you have a helmet and it preserves all your vital organs and it, it's like it's like a tenth of a second and it goes off and it hurts when it goes off because everything yeah. goes out but you know you're not going to puncture a lung you're not going to rupture your kidney whatever all that shit it's uh, I feel like, they're really uh, good yeah i feel like good mythical morning is like very low tier compared to what it used to be and i'm kind of sad it is it's time. very it's true from now and it's just like shut the fuck up like i don't even know what you're saying i don't they know they run out of content bad. dude right yeah they, they did you can only do i tried all yeah. cheeto flavors which one was the best 
the fuck are you yeah, doing? Yeah, they almost you, get a, you over can, a half a million views. <laughs> it's almost like they should have paced their them. show. Like, for us, we do ours once a week, and Good Mythical Morning was literally, like, every morning. Like, they did it every morning. And it's like... That's how they got their fan base, yeah. Exactly. Good That's Mythical how they, Evening, too. They should have just kissed, and then that would have been, that would have been it. Have <laughs> but it's like, go. I feel like if they would have done Good Mythical Morning, like, twice a week or once a week, they might have had like more longevity not saying they're not successful anymore because i'm sure they still are but it's just like keeping your old viewers still happy with current content it's kind of tough to do like i mean you've seen it happen to all your favorite youtubers it's hard to get into some of their new content just as i read the so their their eight most recent videos we eat foods that make you fail a drug test okay kid menu versus adult menu leaving things in mountain dew for a month Wait, read the viewers too. How many? How many viewers? Um, they're getting average, close to a million still. So, international jelly test, taste, taste test. The but I feel like, drivers. would you agree? Would you rather watch that than like say, have you ever heard like below the deck? Like that's a my I dad. Know. My dad watches that. It's like reality TV show basically. Okay. I would of, rather yeah. watch yeah. most YouTube channels than any reality TV. Dude, personally, like, as you know, most ladies, like, our girlfriends are, I'm sure you guys can say, are into that reality TV shit. Like, Gosh, she's like, watching like, fucking Grey's Anatomy right now. Yeah, so, like, my girlfriend that. loves Ooh, Grey's Anatomy, like Jersey Shore, true. Jersey Shore, uh, The Bachelorette, The Bachelor, all that shit. I cannot stand those, man. I can't sit down and watch below the deck. Tell her. She must know. She must know. But my dad, that's the most Republican nonstop. He's almost 70. He's the old stuck way. But when I see him, if it's not Fox News on his TV up in his garage alone, it's uh, it's reality TV show. It's under the deck. And it's all it is. It's a show that follows uh, all the crew members on like a yacht. So it's just I like hot it. people it's being awful. like, yeah, let me not try to fuck him. Or let me let, make sure the guests aren't too drunk to jump off the side of a yacht. Okay. It's just brain rot. It's like it's really filler. It's it just is. filler. It's just filler in the day. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I will say this, because this has happened to all of us. I know it. What is a time you sat down when your girlfriend was watching something and accidentally got involved in watching it? Have you guys ever had that happen? Where it's like, oh, oh yeah. fuck. It's like you're oh, almost yeah. talking about the characters. Like, I wonder what's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. So for me, um, fuck, what show is it? It's uh, that glass blowing one on Netflix. It's like a glass blowing competition. I forget what it's called, but Destiny loves that show where like a bunch of people are on it. They, uh, they have to do certain tasks and like glass below something at a certain time. And yesterday, like two days ago, I'm like, turn this shit off. And then I'm sitting down. And I'm like, I wonder how this guy's is going to turn out. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> God damn it. Like, God damn it. God I was damn. sucked in. Was, like, uh, I didn't want to. I like that um, good, though. Like, I'd watch yeah. that. I think it's better than most. I so think. this Myra used to watch America's Worst Cooks. And it'd be okay. like Hell's Kitchen, but it'd be people who can't cook for shit. So I thought it was a pretty good concept, and I watched that with her quite a bit. Um, okay. They would just be shitty at cooking, and there's two professional chefs, and they would try to teach them how to cook. I don't know. I thought it was good. Yeah. I know what I was living with Ricky and Henriette. You guys are on like a Bachelor or Bachelorette kick or some shit. You guys would watch it like every other night. I'm like, damn. Yes. I, I honestly, I'd be like peeking out of like my office and be like, <laughs> sucka. And I'm in there playing Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was doing something. I'm just like peeking out. I'm just like, <laughs> good, uh, sure. I, um, uh, someone I'll put on the Scott Pilgrim anime and I've never watched Scott Pilgrim. I'm like the first 10 seconds of it. I'm like this, I'm going to blow my brains out. We ended up watching the entire series within like eight hour period. And I, <laughs> Fuck was crying by the end of it. I love that shit now. Hooked, nice, hooked nice. on it. That's probably the gayest thing about me most recently is liking Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> like that's if you're straight or if most you're straight, recently. man, you should not be watching Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, most recently. Yeah, no, that that got me hooked. Love it. I'm all about it. That's funny. I've never Cupcake finished Wars, the movie. Another one. I I didn't like the premise. Cupcake Wars is good. Maybe that's fair. The movie. Wait, Scott Pilgrim the movie. Yeah, I didn't like the premise. I get in and Henry's like, yeah, those are all our ex-boyfriends. I'm like, this guy's a fucking pussy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you would say that. You would say that. Exactly. I told you it's to be gay or a woman to like that shit. No one else is allowed to watch Scott Pilgrim. If you I do, do you're like, aut- yeah. actually autistic. If you're autistic, you can also watch Scott Pilgrim. The three I'm right here. Classes. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> no, it is pretty goofy. 
So do you guys have any weird talents? Weird talents? Yeah, I don't have any. I'll have, have, no have to talent. think about the rest it. Rest of the podcast, I guess. <laughs> weird talents, huh? I don't know. Just just something that came up. Or like a weird skill. Yeah, like a weird skill. Like, can you bounce a bowling ball off your head ten times in a row or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, I could do it personally. <laughs> I don't. I was just curious. That's all. I'm not yeah, that you, special. Do you, do you I don't think I do. Do your gross hand thing, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack you down. fucking poser. Okay, maybe not a weird Jackson. skill, and maybe it's because I'm just a little buzz, but I will say, when I need to dance in like some <laughs> setting, I'm pretty good at dancing, I feel, sometimes. Can you dance for us? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not. Yeah, I'd be up in Maybe the Ricky can attest to this. He may have been at some events where I've had to dance, but I feel like I got some moves and I like never I dance. Can't. Wait, no, we can we can sell this right now. He could be a great dancer. Rick, I'm... at your wedding and at your other things you've had, Pollen, who's a better dancer? Jack, no, number not, one. That's not the question was. That's not what the question was. Answer no, we're not question. comparing dancing. Fuck you, Jack. We're not having a dance off right question. now. Is this an honest debate? Are you all 100 dance off? Paul has never embarrassed himself <laughs> dancing from what I've seen, which, which is impressive because it's easy. Rising. Paul, were you there at the wedding when there was like a dance circle? And my brother comes in. He my starts doing weird popping. fucking yeah. dancing. And I, I ended up going in the city. Yeah. He I saw that. I hate that shit. God, I hated that so much. I don't dance. I don't I, dance. He I think at I, me and I'm like, oh. that was in Norway. And yeah. I, I went in the center at one point and I danced. I don't remember what I did because I was drinking, but I remember it wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad. It was everyone danced pretty well. Rob even danced pretty well. But then he does this like, yeah, the, the, the arm thing. thing. And he's like doing this. Oh, yeah. Oh. That hurt. I remember, I'll remember that forever. That Ricky's oh. heart. <laughs> right? and like, I'll never oh, forget yeah. like your mom like helicoptering me a little bit and just being like, make sure Robbie gets home safe. And I'm like, on it, 007. I got it. And like, I was like so fucking piss hammered. I was like, I'll get Robbie home. And I'm in like the car with like Bree and like their friends that picked this up. And I'm like, Robbie, you're going to get home safe. And I made sure he got home safe. And I walked like fucking like three miles across Norway back home. <laughs> And then, like, I ended up still going back out that night, like, at, like, 1 a.m. Yeah, that was an interesting time. That was fun. But, uh, no, I don't blame you. That is kind of cringy. It's annoying. He knows I don't dance. It's funny. It's funny. Make him feel annoyed. Make him feel cringy. But without getting too off topic, does anybody else have a special skill or interesting thing about them they can do that, you know, not a lot of people know? Um... I got a good voice. I've been singing. They got the, the guttural fucking screams, man. Death metal, all oh, that yeah. shit. Good at that. If but no, pick- I bet you won best dance at the club. You I did. I thought it was like past um, emo night. So I know I'm a good dancer. They gave me a little crown, which I threw away. Actually, I threw it away yesterday. It was just in the way. <laughs> Get the shit out of here. But uh, yeah, so I won best. I am a good dancer. I don't know. Maybe it runs in the family. I haven't seen Paul dance, though. I imagine it's like a lane where he's fucking kind of just do one of these play no man i just i just get with the flow of the music you know i just do whatever's See, vibing that right there know? that's what i picture what he's doing right no there. no 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 not that <laughs> like it just depends on the beat you know what's going on it's on the beat yeah but no dancing dance is fun we have technically i could speak up on two one for dancing you guys are gonna be blown away from this in church camp i was number one dancer so i got a palette of monster guys you my name you don't i'll give you all church signatures camp, later a monster <laughs> yeah, they're like dance or get molested. I had no idea what to pick, so I picked dancing. What kind of dance is this? Yeah. It was a church camp. What are you talking about? Yeah, sounds about right. On ticket, the priest. Yeah, and they played WAP <laughs> fifteen wow. years ago. Um, but we could all do this quick. If you put your hand out like this, all right. Once so farthest you can no. bend like your hand back, like with your fingers. Uh, about a 90 degree i'd say well just like no not moving oh. your wrist just your like fingers oh. up oh like a not a lot yeah gross see jack, oh, is, yeah. jack is a freak that's crazy what that else? is wild. pretty good hand control so if you can like bend your fingers but just the first like tips the first like breaking points yeah i definitely <laughs> can't do that that's oh. weird huh 
and the ligament fell off this knuckle in this finger. <laughs> no, Matt, right. like, the Dude. cool thing is what you can kind of see right in the break in, like, say, this disgusting. knuckle. There's two yeah. ligaments that connect to here that are still pulling. <laughs> that's what you can see. That's where you see the indent. I hate uh, that. There's two You're indents like that are still pulling. <laughs> Yeah, take my thing. good hand. Take my good hand. <laughs> take my, <laughs> my strong hand. I'm my strong hand. Yeah. Mercy. I'm. Uh, come on. Come at me. I'll touch the back of my foreskin if I have to. Holy fuck. <laughs> Them's a strangling hands right there. You choke oh, someone else. Haven't lost yet. Women or men? I mean, only men. <laughs> Rick, how about you? Any special talents? No. No. That's okay. I, I feel no, like no, other no. than dancing, I don't really have anything else to go off of. I'm pretty happy. No, I, I, I can catch the football really well, but I don't think that's like not a special talent. That's just time put in. So Yeah. I can mm. I can say I can punch really hard, but that's just time put in. <laughs> mm. Whatever. Uh let's do a vibe check. How's everybody feeling? I pretty fucking buzz. This wine, I don't know yeah. what proof it is, but I'm not buzzed, it's nineteen percent. And I've had one and a half glasses. Yeah, you can I'll, see my progress right here. I don't drink. Yeah, that's, I'm watching his progress. He's getting more. He's getting more. This is my third beverage, and I feel the uh, the tinglys in my knees and the happiness ensuing. So absolutely, I shouldn't have drank as much yesterday. <laughs> I really regret that at this point. I just Jackson, I, my stomach I hurts. I'm not gonna I, throw up, but I have a wager for you. Okay. Ooh. All right. Okay. If I can solve this in less than 30 seconds, you have to finish this the buzz good. ball. Yeah. He's got a Rubik's cube. Well, what do I, I get if you don't? I was just going to tell him to finish the buzz Take ball, but I like this. So, so do the Rubik's cube. You got 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no. What, is, what do I get if he doesn't finish? Yeah, what does he have? Nothing. Sure, sure, you sure. fucking, you beat, you, you, know, you, you, you don't have to shut drink. Up. Shut, up. Shut, up. shut up. No. It's for Gutter Ball 100. Wait, how much do you have in, wait, Carter, how much do you have in your drink? Uh, it's, uh, you finish drink it. it all. Okay, yes, it's you drink it. Is that it mix? All. Is that mix? I don't know. Yes, yeah, it's 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 I don't know. Mixed. Shut up. Okay. You're not in this part. Okay. If you don't complete it in 30 you seconds, know. you're finishing that. Yeah, you both are. Right. He's got it. I know. This, right, you'll I'm do down. it in 10 seconds. He's going right, to win. Down. He was all that kid in class. Don't time him. He's already did it. He finished it off screen. No, I'm giving it. Hey, hold on. Before you start, Carter, fuck it all up even more. Because I don't know if you've planted this. Get it, get it more fucked no, up. No, he doesn't right? have to. Look at how he it. He's done. He's already finished it. It's oh, okay. game over, bro. Right there. He's doing it. All right. Okay, I'm starting the timer now. Hold on, Three. Hold on, hold on. Fuck, hold on. I got it. Wait, no, Wait, no, no. This is respecting it. What is this bullshit? What are you doing now? Rubik's Cube League rules. You get 15 minutes of inspection, okay? 15 minutes? 15 seconds. Sorry, 15 seconds. All right, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, oh starting God. in three, oh two, one. Carter is right now completing a Rubik's cube. He's going to try to in under thirty Carter seconds. Doing twenty seconds. Carter, what's five times four? And if now. he does it, Jackson drinks the rest of the buzz ball. And if he doesn't, he's uh, slurping that whiskey and coke down. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, he's I'm already going with he's him. finishing it. He's, he's already outside. halfway. Fifteen seconds. I'm boned. God, I'm don't fucked. tell him the time. I, 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 I saw him at work. Let him cook. Let him I cook. Saw Jackson. Uh, He's got one side done. Color. Oh, let him cook. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Time. You suck, you suck. Time. You suck. Literally <laughs> right out of time. Oh, fuck. That's tough. Um, this, is, this game is retarded. I hate this. Oh, this holy shit. Oh, no, there's a delay. He did it. Jackson. He did it. There is a delay. Jackson did it. Good job. Holy yeah. shit. Hell yeah. yeah there's yeah, a delay. My nuts off. Oh, shit. This is woman owned. Oh, <laughs> throw it up! Throw it up! Throw it up! Throw it up! All right, quick, shake it, it, it up! Get it up! Yeah. Jackson, what's wrong with women's balls? Yeah. Fair. Ain't nothing no. wrong with that. No. Nothing no. wrong with that. Who's no. making sure? Isn't nothing that a, wrong with that? Isn't that a yep. whitest kids you know sketch where the boss yeah. keeps talking about how like, oh man, you know what's like really cool is like when women have balls, and they're like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, no, he's like, like kind of hot. It's, yeah, what does he say? You bring a, you bring a nice girl home. You're kissing. Mm -hmm. You're grabbing up on her hot butt. She has you know, you're balls. touching her boobs. <laughs> and then you reach down and you grab her balls. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's gay. 
that's, that's, that's what they keep saying. And he keeps saying, no, no it's gay. not gay. Yeah. They were ahead of their You're time. Both liars. They Jackson, were. can I make a suggestion for you? Yes. Yeah. What's that? So I think for uh, Gutterball 200, you should shave the top of your head and leave like mm. the sides <laughs> and then just go okay. through the entire cast and just uncasually take off your like hat and just like scratch your bald head and put it back and just see that'd be happens. really fucking funny like <laughs> if you did like awesome. the old yeah. man balding there yeah. but he has a cap on so it looks like yeah. he has long hair but he scratches his head once and never does it again yeah, not mentioning it just, just, <laughs> yeah. the fucking, why i was just <laughs> looking at your head and i was like dude that'd be fucking hilarious if you just took off your hat that would and be i might not have hair bro it might be not i might be yeah doing exactly it right you, now. you wouldn't know exactly it'd be so fucking i'm gonna weird. get a bald cap and do that i think it'd be funnier i'm gonna look like a monster okay. I, i'm yeah. not at the monster stage in my life yet i'll get there though <laughs> you can do you can do a bald oh, wait, sorry, wait, this is the monster stage <laughs> <laughs> can you do a clip jackson where you jump out of your window into your swimming pool there's no swimming pool anymore. No, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, the swimming pool is unfortunately gone. No. That's so sad. My That's parents, so sad. my parents got rid of it. Knocked um, it down. No, no, no. Down. No, they couldn't have. They told me anytime. There's anytime. no way. <laughs> you just show up one day with <laughs> arm floaties on and shit. What the hell? Yeah. 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 What the? Fuck? Mrs. Fi, where's the pool? <laughs> I will say Mrs. this: when, when the pool was in place, Jack, I I don't think you make that gap from the window into the pool. Fuck my no. ass the, not this window the the other the other another. window maybe no you wouldn't there's no fucking way you would make you would have to fucking leap dude. you'd have to Are you leap. Like, old old room? you couldn't make it from here not from this window you no. die so he's in he's die. in my old room but we're talking about the l-shaped room that window you could probably make it i don't know you man you're fucking, not there's no way i don't know oh, i contemplated this for years there's no way i was staring out that Wait. window like i wonder if i could you know jack jack let me answer this for you Paul, you okay. fat fuck wouldn't fit through the window. Because you didn't, uh, like, you, it's just, like, proportionality. You know, like, you know, thermal. Hey, I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, not right not now. Not I, I was a few then. months ago. Not back then. No, yeah, kidding. I was a fat boy back then. No, you, you, fuck. Fuck. you fuck. Yeah, then. you fucking asshole. The only thing I, I could criticize you about is having a fanny peck in high school. I, I wish. So yeah, that would be that. juicy. Even yeah, yeah, as a middle dude, schooler, dude, I'm like, my brother's a fucking loser. I was gifted, <laughs> I was gifted a fanny pack, and I maybe wore it once or twice to just appease Henriette because I think she got it for me. But after that, fanny I don't packs, know. Fanny packs are super fashion forward. They were in for a hot minute. I don't know if they are they anymore, were. but they were for a hot minute. They were. I do still yeah. have that zebra fanny pack lying around. It's some. Yeah. I remember packing it. I don't know where it is right now, but it's around. It makes me happy. <laughs> Didn't you hand out pictures of Don Cheadle, or am I misremembering that? Why do I remember you? Someone doing? I that? did you do that. Pictures. You totally did do that. I was basically yeah. planting pictures of Don Cheadle all over Duluth East High School. <laughs> I basically was. I brought a whole thing of sticky tack with me, and when I was in class, I put them under desks, on the walls, fucking behind books and bookshelves. I mm -hmm. fucking handed them out to people. People would have them in their wallets. But basically, by the time of my reign at Duluth East, there is Don Cheadle everywhere. It was fucking sure. everywhere. Like yeah, I got, I was handing know, out to people. Who was he? He was the war criminal in Iron Man, right? And then he was. Uh, why do you call him a war criminal? It was War Machine? Isn't that his I think name? He did that on purpose. No, no. I was about to say <laughs> the war, war criminal. Technically, did he play, is, I guess. Didn't he play Hulk too at some point? But a really skinny version of him, like a real skinny yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. I don't John, think so. John Cheadle, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you guys, uh, I was making a reference. Hotel Rwanda. Disney adult. <laughs> I should post a uh, Donald Trump mug shot in middle school. Who did that? <laughs> Fucking dummies. <laughs> yeah. uh, back in the day, we, we've had him on the cast, but they got a call from the Secret Service because <laughs> yeah. a picture of Trump Trump up with he was wearing he was like in jail and he had like the plaque in front of him. You know, they take a picture of you. But yeah. on the plaque, it said you're a dead man. But it was like jumbled. So it was like and kind of you had to like read it like kind of like a word search but it said you are a dead man and the secret service called uh two of my friends at like middle school and we're like are you gonna kill the president and they're like no i'm i'm eight or whatever I don't know what the was on the news. yeah they're wait, on the news you can wait, still look it up we've had this person right on the cast yeah yeah it was glenn glenn is one of them oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck. Your name oh to say fuck. my name i thought it was somebody else 
that no. was one of your friends. I'm like, well, this would make sense, but I was not expecting you to say <laughs> I think actually you should screen share that. That's fucking hilarious. If you can find it. Yeah, I remember it was a thing. Um, what have you got? What What have you guys been into for hobbies lately? For me, like I didn't think I'd like it, but I'm kind of liking landscaping. I don't think I really have like a green thumb, but the way I see it is like Minecraft in real life, and I'm really enjoying with my house. What like, do you mean landscaping? Tearing out bushes and shit, and like planting my own stuff. Oh, so you mean sick. gardening? Yeah, you don't yeah. actually mean putting in mulch, dirt. Yeah, dirt. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Dirt? Fucking what making a fire pit using? With bricks and shit. What? Oh, actually, that's pretty sick. Never mind. I was yeah, going to tear so, you a new asshole. Do you want to come over and help me put in my new fire pit? I got all the pavers for it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you man, Larry, I did free for 10 years. Yeah, that's so sick. Uh, no, fuck it. How do you... Uh, yeah, me too. Hey, I have a question for you, though, Jack, if you've done landscaping. Uh, I have an area where I'm clearing of brush, dirt, debris, all this shit, and now it's just currently like a dirt mound. How would you go about replanting grass? Is it as simple as laying down fresh dirt and just using grass seed and going over it to get grass to grow? Or is like there a weird dirt, wizard dirt. science to it? Kill it. You kill everything first with straw. That's what suffocate. I mean. Yeah. Suffocate yeah. it, and then you can till it, and then you can put grass, or you can get the the grass, whatever little you just uh, roll out really on top of it. Roll it out yeah it's like turf okay. basically but see i have grass. grass seed and my plan was just to use that but maybe i need you, turf you so, uh, no do that and fertilize the fuck out of it and you're good to go if you fertilize okay. it the biggest thing on that um again no professional besides if you had some out and like test technically your ground which is I wouldn't say a waste. Depending yeah, on I'm not doing. getting into pH no, shit. No, no, no. I was looking into that. No, it like, does. Yeah. That doesn't really matter because you can buy grass. Basically, if you mulch it, or like basically when I say mulch it, is like if you put hay or any kind of fertilizer on the bottom, let it like kind of breathe for a week or so, and then after that, if you get in contact with anyone that, or if you buy like those big, basically it looks like a uh, turf, we can just like roll out dirt, yeah, right, and grass basically. You can get like a very high concentrated of grass where it's like it'll live through like the Sahara Desert almost. Okay. Um, but if you do get that bedding of like fertilizer on, that just means that grass that grows over it will come back like the years to come. Because like during winter, if it does die, it still has like those roots and seeds that can grow from above. If you just have like barren land, you put that on, it's going to die this season when it like freezes. It has nothing to grab onto, obviously. Yeah. Like uh, as long as you put like it doesn't have to be a lot. You don't have to like do everything's hay. It's it's kind of up to you depending on like the surface or like what you're really doing. If you just do a bit, it's just it's going to help more than not. If that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Cuz right now it's just like I have a little bit more left to clear, but it's just like a dirt it's just dirt. And yeah, like yeah, some yeah. roots and like what I started with is using like brush killer and then it's like, well, when you use brush killer, you can't really plant anything for 30 days. I don't plan to like I'm waiting like a it month, just nukes month and a half. Everything. Yeah, yeah. cuz it nukes everything. And that's my plan is because dude, for years there have been weeds brushes and stuff growing up through this fence and just like they threw garbage there and i basically just like cleaned everything out and i'm still kind of working on it but i've been really enjoying that lately other than that my hobby has been my xbox 360 i bought because i bought a 360 again and uh they're closing the the microsoft store at the end of july for the 360 so they're like doing a huge sale on all the games i just spent my um, last fucking xbox points for my 360 really Microsoft yeah, and a fucking like MW2 like drone, dude. It was <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I uh, I'm in there and like we're learning this off. I'm like, dude, I have like a thousand points left. I'm like, I haven't been on here since, but now I have like a ghost outfit for my character avatar with like a drone <laughs> that's going above it now. Oh, but, but no, dude, it. like I got the 360 to have like people over to land, like to play split screen, which I, I haven't really done yet. I mean, I've played a few games with Destiny and a few other friends, but nothing nuts, but. Dude, I've been just slowly playing through Fallout 3 Vanilla on the 360, and it's so fun. Like, it's actually yeah. like, damn, dude. It's like, I don't have to load up. I don't have to worry about mods. Like, I can just fucking play the game. It's actually, like, sick. Like, you can just kind of sit a, down and play. I had that. I tried it on. I tried Fallout 3 on the PC. Um, Crashed I had everything. Lot. It didn't crash for me, but the biggest thing I ran into since my render, my render distance was so far. Oh, yeah. Was, 
somehow load in the enemies first. It wouldn't load in like the uh, NPCs itself. It would load in the enemies, and they could shoot at me, but they'd still be invisible because oh, my yeah. render yeah. distance is so far. Um, yeah, so it's just like I'm I'm just walking down the road. People are shooting at me. I zoom in with a sniper or anything. They're not loaded because the render distance is not up to that oh, game. Oh wow! And the, yeah. the biggest thing I almost have working, Rick hasn't seen it yet. Um, you can get it's called either Capital Punishment or a New Beginning, which combines Fallout New Vegas and Fallout Three into one game. Like actually, Capital Punishment is going to be a harder version where like you drink from like a river or something, you're getting diarrhea. <laughs> but like a New Beginning is like both the games kind of intertwined between itself. I haven't played through it. I've seen mods like showcases on it. Highly recommend the the biggest thing is if you're doing uh, capital punishment, which is the harder version. Um, you need like Nexus mods, but I would say like you need the premium because it makes you download multiple, multiple like I don't know, like a hundred plus mods. And what does Nexus just mods it. premium do? It just auto downloads everything. It, 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 it allows you to download if you're downloading a collection of mods, it'll just instantly download it. Oh, if you sick. have just like the normal base version the free version it will ask and prompt you at every time to download these mods the best thing about nexus uh premium if you're doing like a if you're doing like a playthrough you want to start like a new let's play like say like i'm just saying uh twitch or youtube uh you get that for a month not even you just pay it for once it's like five bucks everything will download instantly um, in the correct order, if you have uh, just the collections downloaded, and you have, you don't have to worry about it, because when you're doing like the normal Nexus, what I found out at least on my side is when I'm clicking yes to everything, it downloads in a different order, which uh, could find the whole problem, collection yeah. up just destroys. Because I remember so, using like I remember using like loot. There's a uh, there was like there's tons of programs like this, but there was like a mod program loot, called Loot. I used to. That yep. would like organize your mods in the correct this order. That's exactly what it's for. Loot. Yeah, it's beautiful. Loot's amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones. The biggest thing for me for Nexus Premium is Nexus mods normally has a data cap on how quickly you can download. So oh, if you get a big, on, big download yep. that's like 10 gig, you're doing like 400 kilobit. Fuck that noise. Kilobit. Yeah. Fuck that. So. That's, and that's it's like, and I you already that. spend enough time troubleshooting mods and getting them the fuck no to work kidding. together. So it's like, yeah. goddamn, any extra minutes you can get, I guess. How much is a premium? Is it expensive? It's like, five, it's like five bucks. It's like five bucks a month, like Jack said. And yeah, to to sit around and wait for potential problems to come, fuck that noise. No, I want it instantly, and I want to troubleshoot it and get over with. Yeah, <laughs> and the, and the, that five dollars goes, it goes to the site and creators. So the only like my biggest yeah. thing is like paying for like YouTube membership. My biggest thing on like Nexus mods, so if I haven't heard anything bad on it, and there definitely could be, but it sounds like when you pay for Nexus mods, you're paying for obviously creator. the site, but you're also paying for the creator that you download for. Oh, that's cool. Which is awesome. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, I'll have to have you guys some uh have you guys come over sometime for some split screen Halo or something. I got all the old modern warfares and stuff too. It'd be a good time. The run I, back, my favorite stream of the gutter ball was when you guys were playing Son of the Force streaming. I agree. That's, cool. that, that's like I the agree. only time we've ever done gaming content. I don't think that we've was ever really done fun. it. Was that was fun. pretty fun. I enjoyed fun. watching it. Was it. I was yeah. chatting. I like watching it too. You were. You were shout yeah, out to, yeah, you all were. <laughs> Your buck tooth chin doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah, I'll need, to, uh, I'll need to, uh, I'll need to, uh, I'll maybe need to repri I need to find a game on PC that'll get me interested again, and then maybe I'll stream that with Jackson or something. You know, try the last I mean, trials. Carter, I mean, we got to play the Outlast trials again. Yes, and play that. No, that's a game. Outlast no, yeah, yeah. is awesome. It is. It truly is. Fucking. Last was a good game that I. That's kind of like the forest that I liked. What's what it called? Game? Raft. Raft. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard of that one. That one looks fun. I just heard the game short, but now that it's finished, it might seem like it's fully fleshed out. Oh I do God. want to try it. Yeah, it seems pretty fleshed out. Mod I can't do water games. I literally can't. I couldn't play it for five minutes. Stop being he doesn't scared. like water games. Do not I like, do like water. I don't like water at all. I don't even like... The lake. 
He, he had a pool. Terrified. He doesn't fuck with I am with terrified lakes. of it. Do not I'm fuck with water. You in water. <laughs> right, right, right hand to God. Like, like seriously, you know how deep my pool is. It's four feet deep. If you put me in that pool at midnight by myself, I would start crying. I couldn't handle it. I'd be that scared. It just to be you know, in it's, water. It's good I have this knowledge now and not back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck water. Fuck sea monsters. We're anti sea monsters on this podcast. You don't get with no us, doubt. get off, all right? You guys play Subnautica. So so you wouldn't you wouldn't like Subnautica? You wouldn't let, like uh Sea of Thieves kind of deal? Whoa, whoa. You wouldn't okay, I played it? Sea of Thieves. That was kind of fun, but too but once they started adding megalodons and shit, I got pretty scared. It's, I here. Oh, okay. it, I it's I funny because I was froze. I was just talking to Jack like earlier today. And I was like, it'd be funny to do a stream because it's it's like it was dead for a minute and then it went on sale and now it's kind of blown up again a little bit. Yeah. And I started playing it. Yeah. And I'm six years late. I never played it when it came out. It's pretty fun. It's like rust on the water, dude. And I'm bad at it, which makes it more fun. If you're like bad at a game, but you can slowly progress, it makes the game almost more fun, the challenge of it. Right. I remember um, when it came out. Chaos. My buddy got that controller, that limited edition one, where it's like purple and it's had the Sea of Thieves layout. I think it's like fucking expensive now. But I played it when it came out and there was nothing in that game. It was embarrassing games, how yeah. little. Oh, it really? There's a lot to it now. It's, it's, I've been having quite a bit of fun. I'm really bad at it, to be fair. Mm. I'm well, shit. If someone comes to, to like raid us or whatever on our drop ship. Drop the sails! Yeah, for real. I just yeah, know that fun. the smaller ship is the best going against the wind. So I'm like, run away. Just run. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. And it's just you grab the megaphone and you just start like calling them slurs and shit. Oh, it was so funny. I was oh. playing with Jack the other day and I was like, they couldn't catch us. I knew they couldn't catch us because I looked into the mechanics or whatever. I'm like, so the smaller ship is fastest against the wind. He was in a big ship. We can outbeat him. And so I was having my guy just do like a wave thing. I was harassing <laughs> yeah. him, right? Because yeah. they were trying to take our shit. That was the best and, time we played. Tell him that. Tell the whole story. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. No, it was fantastic, and and Jack did a great job. He outmaneuvered them. He got away from them. They could have blown us to bits, but they were bad. And I was waving at him, and eventually, I don't know what happened, but I fucking fell off the boat. Right? I was in the back of the boat waving at him, just harassing him, like blinking and waving at him. And I fell off the boat, and and I ended up boarding their boat. And their boat was so big, and they had so many people on it, that they didn't notice that I boarded it. And for whatever fucking reason, they had like an explosive barrel in the bottom of their boat. <laughs> and they I had just had like, Jack fucking shoot it. And I, and I shot it and it sunk their fucking ship. It was so <laughs> funny. It was one of the times oh, where I was dude. like, oh, I wish I was recording. That was so funny. That was, you didn't hear them. Of, they were talking. One of, yeah. It was one of those like game experiences. Like you had them recording because we had, it's called a sloop, which is like a one to three man, usually two man like ship. It's a tiny ship. Um, bigger in a dinghy, but we're running away from like a galleon, basically, which is a full man ship that has four masts, so four like just huge ways to get away. We a only had two. Running. Yeah, yeah. And what he did, we were running away the whole time. And what he did is, I don't know if it was on purpose or an accident. He jumped off. Fifteen minutes, or ten minutes at least. The very least. I'm not trying to exaggerate this because I know stories get exaggerated or exaggerated but it was 10 minutes at least 15 he goes under i run back to the helm to make sure we're against winds because that's how we get away from the huge ship um he gets on the ship that ship the galleon has the top level the middle level and the bottom level he found a ship you should never do this even as an amateur we know this you do not put tnt barrels on your ship because if you get shot with any kind of uh artillery or like cannonballs it blows up it could be inside your ship if we hit your sidewalls it'll probably blow it up why else would they have it why did like well, is it a useful it's because thing? it either it was either like a finishing shot like if you could like what you could do is technically if you hold one of those barrels get in a cannon you could shoot yourself to the other ship kill yourself by shooting that mm -hmm. like tnt that, thing and, and spawn back on our ship 
And that's pretty much what I did. It was so funny because they weren't in a Discord call. Me and Jack were in a Discord call, so we weren't like using the over the game we chat. Talking. Yeah, but they yeah. were all using, they were all chattering over the game chat. And they're like, hey, I these guys it. are pretty smart. We can't catch them. And as soon as they said that, I shot the fucking barrel and it all exploded <laughs> from the inside. Oh, bl- it, was so blew up. it was so funny. And then me and the me and one of the guys that died on the ship were in this, like, when you die, you go to, like, a, a purgatory on, like, a ghost ship and you have to wait to respawn. Maybe Jones Locker. Yeah. And I was like, hey, dude. <laughs> hey man you me. expect me in there sitting there yeah no nope. that was that was so oh, funny. i love that yeah they thought for sure, i thought they were gonna get us too to be honest no for sure i uh, yeah i know i know what that you guys mean so, oh, go ahead, it's Jack. like it's like really difficult to like get treasure and shit so when you can get someone you can take someone else's or blow up and ruin their day it's yeah. the greatest feeling of all time well it's not yeah. your treasure until you sell it so yeah. i did right. a whole that's mission true. yeah that's true with 18 yeah. treasure chests it's not mine until I dock and sell yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So Pretty even much, if you're yeah. docked and trying to sell two treasure chests, if I come there and fucking just destroy you, it's mine, baby. My beautiful. So I know I know what you guys mean by like moments you wish you were recording or like an epic ga- like epic gamer moments, right? It's just like I've had so many countless uh like times like that in Rust and Daisy over the years where it's like, yeah, exactly fuck, what I was dude, I say. wish I was yeah. recording this, like. Because those are games where, like, they're an open world RPG, survival, you know, unscripted, just like Sea of Thieves. And it's just like, there are so many times I can remember in DayZ where it's like, God damn, I wish I recorded that, man. That would have been, like, so funny to look back on that footage. Um, Like, when the cannibals stole Ivan and were eating him and poisoning him. And I was just Mm -hmm. listening for, like, an hour and a half as they, like, cut pieces of him off and ate him in front of him. (laughs) <laughs> so cool. i love people yeah, who dude. role play when they play games i love getting into it if i'm gonna play that character i'm gonna do it so that's why i love sea of thieves because i was a mean fucking pirate it's fun <laughs> shit to do yeah jackson we played daisy would be up your alley yeah i know i, I it's just it's just a pile of shit the game is shit <laughs> it is i won't have anyone else tell me it's Any terrible game is gonna be shit to a point what game do you play right now that you're you could be like i'm on like honestly interested in that's going to be continuously. That's not going to be like a first, like, sorry, a single player, like one time interaction, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like what's a game right now? that's like multiplayer that you can just go back to at any time. That's like unscripted. And that. you could recommend it any person. It doesn't like, yeah. For me, it's Daisy. You know, that's a good point. That's a fair point. You got me there. All of them are like the online services are gone. You, you'll be garbage at one point. Even if I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh deck builder, that's free. Like you're going to get absolutely fucking pegged. The first couple online games you play, I'm like you're yeah. like, hey, they obviously know I suck cock. Hopefully, <laughs> they'll give me a chance here. And that's like I, I I've never had that in a, a barrel rail or any kind of like instance like that. Cause I'm not trying to like break off of the conversation we have now, but like for like battle rail instances, like I bought Fortnite before it was even. Like the first day it came out, I had that game. Yeah. I we beat, I beat it. I think I was the only person because I tried to have my brother in it in the first like year it had out. So you know, not quick or anything. Fortnite came out, or the uh, Battle Royale and everything on that. Even with the like, Day Z, I think when Day Z came out, I went instantly and I bought all the. Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking. It's probably because I'm drunk a little bit. Uh, blanking <laughs> on like the games that daisy came off of arma Sorry. yeah arma yeah so like I, but arma Ar- daisy too, was originally a mod for months arma. yeah and i played that for months and i wasn't like i was a late joiner and it was still great i haven't Dude. played the daisy game just because it's the same thing like uh well uh no man's skies i don't trust their development team no man's skies has a obviously a lot more built behind them now but it's like i don't trust the development team of uh daisy that makes sense i get that so here here's the deal with daisy is it like you could probably still go now and play the daisy mod for arma 2 and there's probably still at least two to three servers that are fully capped yeah no would it be worth it from if i already had that to buy the new game you I, i'm just gonna say no, this about the new game it's probably different I'm, it is different so i will say this about the new game the, the the developer cycle yes it's been terrible it's been in beta for a long time it's now been like fully published whatever you consider that 
The problem with DayZ is it changed hands too many times when it went standalone. So like, you know, you had Dean oh, Hall who led so the mod. He left after two, two to three years. And then you had this yeah. other guy in charge that was in charge for like four years. And then that guy left. And then like halfway through that second guy, they decided, oh shit, this engine's garbage. We're going to rebuild an engine from scratch and rebuild the entire game. So what you're left with now is you have a way better engine that is way more optimized and works better, but they're still even to this day adding guns, features, and things from that old so, original version of Daisy standalone. I absolutely yeah. could cut you off for that engine. I Go love new it. engines. If it's going to play and feel great, that's my it biggest... It plays and feels great, but I will okay, say okay. this. From a person that played the, the, the broken-ass version, the broken-ass version was more fun because I got really good at it. But now, have... but now it's an even playing field. The new engine's an even playing field. But, it's but... too easy. Because <laughs> I don't care about graphics to a point, and I don't care graphics about. Don't matter, yeah. I don't care about gameplay to a very like depends obviously where you're playing now, but like, would you if there was a full, say, just saying, there's a 500 committed. Sorry, not even 500. If there was a 120 committed server to Daisy Arma 2, there's 120 committed to the new Daisy game. Is there enough now, what, 2024, to jump from Daisy to Yes, to... even more yeah, okay. so. It plays That's way better. That's what I thought. Yes, That's what, yes. Was kind so of if, I would say wait till it's on sale, but when it's on sale, buy it. I will play that with you. I will jump back into Daisy. Yeah, okay. and I, it's, uh, Force was my favorite uh, Twitch streamer I've ever seen when they played that, but. Oh, yeah. You can get uh, you can get in some risky situations, Daisy. You can make the gameplay quite interesting, especially yeah, now they got modded that. servers. Well, modded. Well, that's why I play Armor Three, dude. Armor Three with modded servers was crazy fun. Altus Life. You ever play Altus Life? I don't think so. It's basically just Grand Theft Auto, but an Arma. Like you have yeah, a bank yeah, account. It's, piece. it's a whole RP yeah. server, and it's like you have town, ta- like you have. Depending on the map, you have a couple different towns that like have different regulations and everything. But you could just be arrested by the side townsman or like the sheriff, whatever yeah. going around. And you're like, I have a pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. Then that that was back when I think it was like uh, Tyler and X, not X. It was Greek God X when they played back on like the. It wasn't each. I think it was the Arma Three servers when they did those kind of like uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto like mods, where yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah. an open city. It's like uh, I haven't played it like an since RP that. Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was like 2017, 18. Is it's if it wasn't on sale, would you say buy Daisy now? For four, was it forty five? I don't, I don't even know. I'd say it's worth the forty bucks, but if you're playing alone, you're gonna have a hard time. Yeah, okay. Not, that's it's not. Yeah, I'll okay. give you 30 cents, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but I would honestly say just like wait. Four colors to me. Let's just go. wait. Just wait to the summer sale because it's right around the corner and I know it's going to be on it. sale. It always is. Mm-hmm. Remember, Paul, you bought it for me and you're like, you should play this. And I'm like, I, if you buy it for me, I won't put in more than five hours, three hours I, played. I put in a, I put, I bought that game for like you and Ivan and, and same thing. Well, actually, Ivan's Nobody. played it quite a bit now. Ivan's played it a lot. I don't feel bad because I did beg him. I told him I'm not going to play this. And you're like, I'm buying it for you anyway. I never played it. See, I'll buy you Outlast Trials if you do the same thing to me. Yeah. I'll never Outlast play it. Trials. I'll never play it. He'll never play it. He'll never Good play question. it. He's too I'm not into horror games. Except for Dead Space. Pussy. Yeah, go ahead. Pussy. Try. Yeah, pussy. Um, There's three genres of games you could play for the rest of your life. Only three. It can't be like MMO RPG combined. It would have to be like MMO, or it would have to be like well, first person. Like I think uh, you should limit story. us to less than three. Two. Yeah, I think it should be like two. Two. Okay, I can do two. I was just asking the question. If there's like two genres or specific games that you could say that like you could play not the rest of your life, but like for years on end now, that like you either continue going back on or like you can see yourself in the next couple of years just constantly playing this for enjoyment and not just really it. grinding or I got it. I got boring it. stuff. Yeah. All right. Go, Carter. FPS. Yeah, it's like any sort yeah. of FPS game I, I love because that's all I played as a kid and I'm actually all right at it. And what would you consider like God of War? X slash slash story. Yeah. So like any like story rich game like God of War. 
Do you Spider-Man, like more, more of the story or do you like the gameplay? Uh, story. Okay. For sure. Story mode. So that can also go towards like a uh, single player game. Uncharted. Like Last yeah. of Us Uncharted. Yes. Yeah, I could play yeah, those yeah. forever. Those are my two categories. For, for me, sure. obviously, FPS. It's an easy one. But then also, like, I, my second would be like, I love single player games, but I think it's got to be MMO slash, like, or survival, whichever one you choose out of those two. Cause I don't know what to consider Daisy or games like Rust, where it's like, like, what do you consider that? It's an FPS, but it's also like an MMO, but it's also like a survival. So, FPS, whatever. MMO. Yeah. So I do FPS First and MMO. Shooter. Yeah. That's what I do because I could play Rust, Daisy, all those games with multi, with people that are online forever. But man, single player is a close second. A close third, I should say. I'd probably do um definitely survival horror a hundred percent, and then I would do whatever genre game the Arkham game set in and Assassin's Creed that type of fighting style. It's so not it's like, like God of War, yeah. but more that like. Well, you can consider that single player, fight. single player story driven. Like the yeah, fighting's yeah. different, but it's less mechanics. It's more of like the story is the most yeah. important part. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you, Jack. Yes. Oh, you. were... Uh, I would do like a 4X strategy game or an RPG. Those are my two. I figured that's what it'd be for him because he loves game. Civ and all that shit. He likes okay, strategy. Gotcha. Just to make sure, just to make sure 4X is like a uh, strategy. Yeah, or... it's like Art of Iron. Never played that. Huh. Jack, did you already say? Uh... The one that's not my brother? Hmm. <laughs> what's the game i can continuously i'm thinking going back on and the, the biggest thing i'm also looking at is because my brothers have kids now and their generation what they gone through and also kind of playing um it was like later in years like i discovered roblox and i like roblox a lot like but that was like, yeah i was already in high school if i said that in high school i get the shit kicked out of me not really but oh, yeah because I'm an absolute monster. But everyone knows that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to think if a game I had to play for the rest of my life, and I, in my mind, that would include mods or like, you know, third party services. One obvious thing I'd have to comp out and be like, it's going to be Minecraft and also. Um, I really want to say World of Warcraft. I haven't played that much because I joined in Mr. Pandaria. I have hates in the world. It's going to be Nintendo. It's going to be Blizzard. It's going to be Nazis. <laughs> well, I got to move that closer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nazis are that's, that's, my, that's my, that's my, that's my, that's my, like, not social interaction or, like, thought process about things, but, like, things I care about. Like, this whole thing with hell divers. You guys have probably all of already seen like the massive dislike on that because sony's like we don't sell in these certain countries all right we can solve that problem by right. not selling any games in any of these countries yeah <laughs> just doing like crazy shit but like blizzard has not to go on a rant it's gonna be like some sort of survival and like like i love probably minecraft to another game it can always go back on is I'm an absolute heartthrob for probably Borderlands 2. That's a good game. It's a like loser respect. shooter. Yeah, it's a like it's great. It's funny you say Nintendo you hate because I hate. I will kill any. <laughs> I was about to say Nintendo. And I was about to say what? Mario Kart, dude. I could play Mario Kart forever. You could play it. That I love Mario though. Kart. Yeah, oh, I okay. do hate the company. Could you oh, play it? Could you play it against sixty dollars? Could you play it against AI forever? Or would you have to be I th- No, I don't know. I feel like that's true. Not forever. I can play well, against the, AI. Because the, eventually you think you'd get good enough where it would be like, whatever. You could be matter. all AI. Yeah, it would be yeah. fine. It's like the normal computer system. When I played like Mario Kart on the DS, it's like you beat all those bots, but it was like AI learning. Or Track Mania. Because when you're being a track, you see every other player plus the perfect AI for that course follow all the cars and you can see all the different players how they try to like beat the ai so it really depends if it goes in like that route where i have to be like pixel perfect 
probably going to be a bit annoying unless I'm addicted to that game. But if it's going to be like, you know, 150 CC and I want to play the game casual, not casually, but just play the game, you know, kind of intensely. I know I can beat that without the AI being like, hey, there's a weak link in the, the surface of the ground right here. I could go straight to the starting line. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and just like win the game, obviously. But uh, me, whenever yeah. my girlfriend wants to play Mario Kart on Switch and she wants to play 50 CC, yeah. I'm like, this is a fucking joke. You go to I'm in yeah. first place yeah. every time. Yeah. 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 That's my well, playing. Uh, that's why I love my girlfriend because she loves playing Super Smash with me. And she's like, that's hey, you don't have to go easy on me. I'm like, Our, unfortunately, the last six years, we played this drunk for eight hours straight. <laughs> Sober and more drunk I get. Unfortunately, you won't be God. God's trying to fight God, and he's lost, right? Like, we can all uh, <laughs> attest to that. <laughs> That's like playing Halo 3 against my brother Max. He told me, he's like, don't go easy on me. I'm like, you wouldn't need you. to get a single kill. Yeah. Like, I You absolute to... child. What'd you say to me? It's terrible, yeah. Don't <laughs> go easy on Come out of the cob with no teeth, as my dad says. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking monkey. Uh, that's good. If you, uh, I know some guys here don't follow fighting as much as maybe I do. Is anybody That's excited for any UFC fights Fuck. coming up they've seen announced? Uh, UFC 304 was announced seven hours ago. Yeah, did you see that? Uh, do you see, yeah. the, you want to know the people's main event? Patty the Patty Batty versus yeah, Bobby Green. Green. Yeah, yeah no, dude. Patty gets fuck? this fucking, oh no, Patty gets this fucking British teeth stomped. I down. know, dude. dude, I would, dude. He's, He's got yeah, no cardio. Dude. He's yeah. got no cardio. I think, I think Bobby, although being old and coming off, well, he just came off a win, but before that, coming off a really bad knockout from Jalen Turner. Um, I think he's gonna like piece Patty up, unless Patty can somehow hold him down the whole time, which I don't really see happening. I don't. Bobby's I don't gonna know. do one hood fight and then clip Patty in the head. He's gonna be like holding his arms like this, and he's gonna swing over and smack him in the. That's all I can see happening. It's gonna be over. Are you talking? I just about, don't like, like. I just don't like Patty because I feel like he's he he thinks he's the best, and he's not even close. He's nowhere near. Yeah. He hasn't fought. I mean, he's fought a washed up Tony Ferguson and barely yeah. won. Yeah. Yeah, I he mean, barely beat Tony. He was yeah, gassing he was in the so third tired. round. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's he had, had everybody. I have to get more mixer. We're talking about. Patty had so. everybody when he did that like men's suicide mental health speech. He did, but then yeah. he didn't continue the humbleness of it and be kind of game an asshole by saying yeah. he's the greatest and having shit cardio after the fact. It he hasn't like, fought anybody that's ranked. Like, no. yeah. well, Bobby. First, I think right? Bobby's technically yeah. ranked yeah. now. Bobby's yeah. ranked. Yeah. yeah. To be a first ranked fight, which we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, think that's about it this way. Patty has a lot of pressure. Even though his striking's terrible, he has a lot of pressure. He'll get you in the clinch to try to take you down. But then you got Bobby, who's like an excellent counter striker. So that just equals for like a banger, dude. Like it's going to be a cardio, though. So like Bobby is I just really Everyone's feel like the cardio Bobby. is going to be the downfall. What is that? Everyone right? here is rooting for Bobby. Yeah. Yes. I'd bet on Patty. Yeah, I you know, that's a safe bet though. He's the younger fighter and maybe he fixes cardio. The problem with Patty is he blows up to 225 pounds in between fights and then cuts back down to 155. And I think that's what really ruins his cardio is doing like all that. His, I like his absurdity. I like how absurd he is. I like uh I like that. You like when he smacked his ass at weigh-ins? I thought that was yeah. pretty funny. Everyone saying yeah, that I'm like a that. fat ass and kiss my ass, he smacked his ass at weigh-ins. Like I like, just three like every time. Ever since Conor McGregor, there's always this one person who's trying to be like him, exactly. trying to talk all this shit, trying to, but nobody lives up to it. I mean, I don't know. What Conor did was absolutely phenomenal. Because right. you remember who paved the way before Conor and then even Chael, like I would say before Conor was Chael Sonnen. He was oh, yeah. so good on the mic. And he was yeah. a pretty good fighter too. Like he almost beat Anderson Silva. He was beating him all five rounds and then yeah. Anderson Silva submitted him. And, you know, like yeah. he lost it, right? But then even before um, him, God, I forget the dude's name, but he was also like a good, like paved the way for guys on the mic. Because nowadays in the UFC, man, you can't just be a great fighter. You have to have character to you or you're not going to get, you know, any marketing, nothing. Like it just doesn't work out for you. Unfortunately, I wish it was based all on skills, but then you get these other guys that like 
oh shit, they're really fucking good. Maybe they're almost undefeated or have one loss, but they're fucking boring. Like, you don't want to tune in to watch them fight. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll look at Pakistani. They don't speak English. How are you going to relate to them? Like, there's better fighters, but they don't speak fucking English. English That's another fight. I I know know? Dustin Poirier has maybe a 20% chance of taking the belt from Islam Makachev. Islam Makachev, but I really hope that fucking Dustin Poirier beats the brakes off him. Like, I really just hope, like, Dustin, just like, please, please, just win the belt and retire. I would coom, please. I want the Dagestanis <laughs> to lose <laughs> once, right, uh, please. I don't know. When you say that, I look at John Jones, and I feel like John Jones isn't like a very. He's not good on the mic. Personality. No, but no. he's still. Like, Everybody tunes in to watch this fight. He's kind of a piece of shit, to be honest with you. He's yeah. a bad guy. He's outside lighting up, knocking people up, knocking his woman around. That's my type of fighter right there. I love <laughs> that, guy. that guy's awesome. The reason why John Jones has the pull he does is because he really hasn't been, fe- been defeated. The one loss he, he really had is because he threw... Of all time. Yeah, the, the greatest MMA fighter of all time because he has only had one loss and that one loss was from a disqualification from a strike that is now allowed in the UFC. You weren't allowed at one point to do 90 degree elbows. And I believe now you are. And he got DQ'd for that. The other guy got hit with a 90 degree mm. elbow. He gave up. They gave the win to the other guy. John Jones lost. It's the only loss he has. He became champion at 23 years old, went on a crazy title run, then retired for like three to four years now he's back he's he's not in light heavyweight anymore he's in heavyweight he's de- he hasn't defended the belt yet we're still waiting because he injured himself so like he john did. jones unquestionably is the mma goat right now but we'll kind of see how that all plays out because if he just defends the belt one more time and retires it's kind of hard to say because a lot of people say oh habib's a goat he was 29 and 0 and then no, he retired he's not. He's guess what quite. habib retired at like 33 32 not even that when he was in his prime and if you go look at Habib's like record, first it's like 20 nobody. fights, they're all fucking cans. He beat yeah. Al Iaquinta to get the belt, who's a fucking Apparently. realist, who's a real estate agent. Yeah. Okay. So, uh-huh. like, uh-huh. I don't know, man. It's hard to say, like, when you're the GOAT, I don't think having an O on your record being undefeated makes you a GOAT, no matter who you are. Because I would say people like Poirier or other seasoned fighters that maybe have 50 professional fights that have like, you know, a really good win-loss ratio, like say they got 30 wins and like five losses. I consider one of those people a goat over a person that's like retires early with an undefeated record because they didn't challenge themselves to tarnish it. Does that make sense? Like I respect a person that could take a few losses, but fought the best of the best compared to the people that, you know, maybe just got an undefeated record and then retired early and never really challenged themselves. Does that make sense? Like it's, I get it. Super cool to be undefeated. Like, it makes sense. Like, it's super cool. Like, this guy was never beat, and he retired. Yeah, but you retired in your prime. I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. Everybody can look at it uh, their own personal opinion, but... Your whole perspective with you got to be good on the mic, a good example um, following that is uh, Demetrius Johnson. He was literally... He never... He was crazy in the UFC, and then nobody cared about his fights, and then... No one. He fucking he didn't lose against Henry Cejudo in my opinion, but lost no. and they, they cut him. They immediately cut him. And the problem the problem with those divisions, flyweight, 125 pounds or even 135 pounds is you know Sean O'Malley's now the 135 pound champion, so there's some eyes on it. But the problem with those lighter weight classes is nobody wants to watch them. They want to see the big guys bang. They want to see the heavyweights and the light heavyweights beat the fuck out of each other. With but you know the way it goes with mixed martial arts and even boxing is the lighter in weight you get the more technicality you're going to see. The heavier in weight you get, the, more, the less technicality you're going to see. You're not going to really see a heavyweight fluidly throw and do all this quick shit. You get down to the 125ers, those guys are fucking banging, dude. They're pivoting, they're throwing crazy kicks, shit that the heavyweights can't even do. And that's what's kind of sad is like nobody really wants to watch that. And that's why that flyweight division, 100, 125, never really got a lot of eyes. Like, I still think Demetrius Johnson's submission of Ray Borg was one of the craziest Great. fucking things I've ever seen in my life. Have you guys ever seen that? He yeah. like he gets Ray Borg into a flying armbar. He's like suplexing him in midair, armbars him and submits him. And I'm like, that's you'll never see that. In you heavy mean weight. Mighty Mouse? Yeah, you saw that yeah. from Mighty Mouse. Yeah. 
You'll never see that heavyweight. He's the greatest light (laughs) flyweight of all time. Champion of all time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Who do you bring up? And they and he got cut. He didn't get cut from the UFC, but he left the UFC because him and Dana didn't really agree on a lot of things. It's because they were at one point they were about to axe the flyweight division. They're like, you don't pull in enough numbers, this, this, and that. But he's it's like, like, I'm the heavyweight champion of my delete of like league. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. And like that's Which what's I can, ca- I can understand from Dana yeah. White's like if it's not getting enough eyes, but this is the same point. Like, I am the best of the best. Yeah. And you're about to tell me like, hey. You're getting dick for what you're getting paid for, or yeah. you're, you're getting nothing. We're cutting exactly. You. You're not a real weight. And, and don't get me crazy. wrong. As much as the other guy, I love seeing the heavyweights bang. Like that's the coolest thing. Is like seeing guys that can throw really fucking burned, hard, yeah. like bomb each other. Like that's sick. But also, I do mm. really like the flyweight fights now, especially guys in the top ten. They're so that's talented because cool. you'll never see a heavyweight do the type of technical shit and movement. That a heavy, you know, a heavyweight will never be in the way. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, exactly. Like it's just like they're not that spry. If they can't itch the back of their spine here, I don't think they are technically like (laughs) good at grappling. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. (laughs) I smother, smother. I stood up and shit my pants when I saw Francis and Ganu fucking uppercut Alistair Overeem into orbit because they're fucking two hundred and sixty-five pounds, and it was sick. But like he should have died. He should have been dead. Yeah, he should have been dead. Should have been dead. But then you see the cool shit like, damn, dude, that 125 pounder literally just like flying arm bar to dude. How the fuck do you even do that? Like, that was sick, too. So it's just like. It's air. It seems like it's air. He floats. What were you saying, Rick? I was just saying it's like technicality versus brutality. Yeah. Exactly. Either the Coliseum versus like technical like martial arts. Yeah. And the only reason like because I've only ever been. It was like I wouldn't even say fake. Like fake martial arts because i've been i'm like a red advanced belt in karate yeah but like i i would never tell someone like in the actual professional like sport of fighting being like i'm a red advanced belt because like i feel like my place that i went to was probably fake and they're like hey you want enough here's your here's your time it's a fucking strip mall karate place yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. i never tell a person but like you're gonna both not feed a black belt <laughs> <laughs> the shit kicked out of me. So like, yeah, yeah. to kind of wrap up this talk, who do you guys got? Now that it's been announced, Conor McGregor versus Mike or Michael Chandler. I think it's 302 or 303. Chandler. Chandler, easy. Chandler's going to be. I, I don't know, man. Yeah. I love that guy. McGregor's Chandler's got easy. that power, especially since it's at 170, which is a weight class that I don't think Conor's ever fought at or Michael. Uh, Michael's a small 170 er So you can say, because I think Conor has height. Even at that, you know, he he has height on him at one seventy. So he's just going for grappling. I'm just gonna say this, dude. I there's a very small chance I think that Connor comes back and beats the brakes off Chandler. No, if, he has it, a even if that, wooden, if, right? even if Connor wins, it's gonna be a very even fight. He I can see it going to the same to that fight for so long. I've been looking forward to it for so long. There's it's no been, way he has a Connor wooden has a leg. Chance. There's no way. Mm-hmm. You have a fake no, leg in because... there. You kick it enough, like you're fucked. There's, yeah. it's mm-hmm. not, it's not your fault. It's no. your muscles not grabbing like onto the metal prosthetic, prosthetic you put in your leg. Like it just, mm-hmm. I, unless you can protect that perfectly. Like, Connor, don't get me wrong, is not a bad fighter. He has like great technical like skills for either striking, taking down, or whatever. It's just like if I kick your, if I kicked your leg in a like real fight and your whole. What is it? Uh, your shin detaches. It's like, I, uh, or getting kicked in the fucking side of the head with just a metal bar. Like I don't know how. I'm saying, that. how can you even fight with that? It's funny. No, because I, I just people... be like, sleep. Let me, please, let me just sleep till tomorrow. <laughs> <Get down. laughs> you people won. that don't watch the UFC seem really confident that um, McGregor's going to take it, but I don't see that really? at all. And I only watch a little bit, but he's going to get. He's a pirate leg, like, unless wild. you can like shoot a gun from it. He's arguably at the very end of his prime, if not has already passed it. He I don't passed, think he has. Passed, any, with the I don't think he's passed. I don't think he has. Me. I don't think he has yeah. anything left to prove. He's a billion. He's a millionaire, if not a billionaire. He's There's a no billionaire. reason for him to really fight anymore unless it's the passion. And the, the question is: Is that passion to win still there? Is no. that drive? And UFC? I don't think it is. He may say it is, but I think no. at the end of the day, when he gets in that octagon and the, and the door closes. That I think Chandler's gonna want it more. Like I, I he just has more money. He got into it and he was yeah. broke. All he's got to fight for now is his yeah. ego. Words. Exactly. Mm. 
Yeah, like Chandler is way words. more. I mean, if he wanted to shit talk, he would just call Chandler poor because relatively yeah. he is. Yeah. <laughs> McGregor's got They're a shit poor. ton of money now because Wait, of what he so did. So if we can super fast pass skip this because I love UFC, but who do you mm-hmm. guys have in the Jake Paul and obviously. Uh, I, 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 I do want to talk HP's about that. Rules. Jason. Hold on, hold on. I'm I do. Not... No, hold on. I do want to talk about that. I want to wrap. I want to wrap up. I want to wrap up Connor. Okay, you can wrap up. Sorry. Let me just let me just wrap up Connor. I will say this about Connor. It's just like it's gonna be. It's gonna come down to who wants it more. And in my mind, I think Chandler is that way. And we won't know until that day, right? But um, I will say this about Chandler. I feel bad for him that he had to wait now almost two years to get that money fight with Chandler. Yeah. Because he wasted two years of his prime sitting on the sidelines after doing that Ultimate Fighter season. So I just want to end with that. It's like, I think Chandler has been training and has been fed up. And I think that he might fucking, I don't know, something's going to happen. That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. I have Paul. McGregor. I'll just say that. I yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go around quick. Who do you guys got? I got, uh, I got Chandler. I have McGregor. I got Chandler. Um, Mike I... Tyson. <laughs> Fuck off. I hope they both get shot, but like, I don't. I only know one of. I don't know who Chandler is. I honestly have no idea. I he was like, this fight was like happening. He's he good. was like, he was a Bellator champion. He came into the UFC, and I think he has more of a losing record than winning record in the UFC. But, but like, all of his fights have been against top five guys, and they've been bangers. But like, like yeah, what is his weight? One fifty five. Same same weight class that Connor was like main champion. And, but they're fighting uh, at one seventy. Big. Connor looks big now compared to. Has he fought at what he's at now? Well, he's, he's no. Look- that's why they have to fight at 170 is because I don't think yeah, Connor cut all so the way big. down. Yeah. Like he's on roids. He, he looks- is on roids. They are. No, they're they're on sure. roids. They're on roids. Yeah. He, he didn't, he didn't so seem like he was before. To be fair, comparably, he didn't. In his he wasn't prime, before, he I don't think. Right. So it just seems, I don't he know. I, that's another reason that I don't, I don't think he's going to be with it. Maybe he will, but. I think he'll be mentally there easily. Um, it's just titanium leg. I mean, as much as your bone can grow on that was have been a couple of years instead of a full <laughs> lifetime on like one solid piece. I, you are you already know Chandler's coming out with leg kicks. He's been training oh, his whole camp. If that's Chandler, oh, I'd be like, your leg's bummed. He's training his whole camp. Your the bottom of your foot. I'm going to kiss your foot like it's my girlfriend. I'm going to try to fucking kill that thing. I'm going to grab that throat and twist it. I'm going to beat the fuck out of it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that should be the like only the plan. Girlfriend. Unless, like, obvious, again, uh, McCre- uh, yeah, he's not, like, a bad fighter at all. But at the same time, like, there's, that's not a strike. That's a weakness in my point, unless it's been put yeah. differently. You guys just got to remember, though, too, that McGregor has the touch. He knocked out no, Jose Aldo touch. for the featherweight he's belt perfect. in like 30 seconds. So that's fine. Yeah. He could kill that man. He could kill any man if he has perfect technique. But if it, is that going to happen? I have no idea. I, yeah. I have no honest idea. Anyways, I don't know about the other guy. I know we're over two hours here, and we can wrap up the ca- wrap up the cast because I'm pretty fucking. Bu- I'm, I'm honestly pretty drunk. I'm more I am drunk. Say, yeah. You're probably more drunk than me. I have to say, no, someone sober. Get more drunk. Yeah, I get more drunk. Yeah. Um, but um, oh well, Tyson, cheers. Tyson versus Paul. This boxing match. What do you guys think of all this with the modified rules and kind of what's wait. going on? I heard. I, like I heard the they're fighting naked. So it's gonna be great. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> uh, That'd be crazy. Imagine right? Why don't... Has, like just huge balls and the other guy has nothing. It's just like, oh, well, I know who's gonna win. I heard it's yeah, a real I fight. It. I heard it's it a real is, fight. It is a real fight. Out, they can. Which I don't think me way real. more excited than I was at the beginning, to be honest. So what Jackson was saying is with boxing, dude. Are you naked? I I no. I can't tell what's true and what's fake. Because sometimes when they say rules like that, there's like, oh, some undisclosed thing. Because we all know this. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are good friends outside of the fighting. They actually know each other. I think they did business together at one point with like oh, Mike it's a Tyson's business farm adventure. thing. It's a, bi- it's, oh, really? it's a business, it's a business endeavor. Yes. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're friends. Even at the press conference when they were talking last week, they're like, we're just friends. But when we're in the I'm cage, we're not. talking about your dead daughter. We're we're not. Not. I'm talking about all the shit you've exactly. done. Exactly. Like they haven't been talking mad shit because they do respect yeah. each other. They are yeah, friends outside sure. the cage. This is definitely a money grab. We all know this. It's all for money. 
But with that being said, I guarantee you, dude, there's got to be behind scenes something between the, both of them that's like, hey, man, don't oh, fucking knock sure. me out. Let's just let it go this. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, a, it's a whole conversation of like the rest being paid off in the NFL or the NWA or yep. the, not NWA, but uh, it, uh, basketball, basically. It's just I don't think the sport is rigged. I think the rest are getting too comfortable on what they're betting with and trying to like shoot for. So they are rigging it. I don't think the NFL has or like basketball league has like like a script, but I think there are people in there trying to change like the outcomes. If it's going to be the refs, if it's going to be the GMs or whatever. I think Tyson will refuse to lose. I think his ego won't let it happen. Uh, I don't think it Even will. if it's under the table, whatever, I feel like in the moment, he, he I don't think he can eat that. Exactly, right? I don't think he can eat a lot. He's, he's, a, three, uh, he, was a he, he was I a dangerous, he was a dangerous man. Dollars? Yeah, no kidding. I don't think I'm scared. Scared. I, I got money on Tyson because I just I don't think he will eat that loss, and I think Jake I don't think Paul so either on purpose. You know, I hope he kills like, him what, the first what, round. Yeah, like what Rick is saying though, there is I don't think any amount of money in the world that would convince Tyson to fucking throw a fight or no, or do modified so rules. I don't think I so. Think it's like the Roy Jones Jr. fight he did like two years ago, that was an exhibition. We knew that from I the know. gate. They yeah. announced publicly they but aren't going to knock each other thing. out because they're both old. But this is real. Mike Tyson's mm-hmm. almost 60. The guy he's fighting is in his like late 20s, not even 30. This is interesting. I ri- Dude, I pray to God Mike Tyson knocks money. him out. Oh my I God. I if that happened, I would fucking... I hope Mike Tyson run around runs, the block I naked. Think he's like, that would be life. awesome, and it's on Netflix. I'm gonna watch it. It's free for me. I mean, not free. Come over. You know I mean? I'm having people over. Come, Come over. Hundred percent. I didn't know. Am mm-hmm. I gonna be in the piss colored <laughs> room? I yeah, wasn't invited. No, you're gonna be upstairs in the home theater room. I can piss color that room. You can't piss in the room. No, please I'll don't piss, piss on your wall. You can use the bathroom. Don't piss on the wall. <laughs> I'll bring <laughs> No, that'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun to watch. My you brother Joe awesome. plans on grilling and coming over. So fucking oh hell yeah, come on over. Hell yeah, I don't think no, it'd, it'd be Joe. so fun to watch Jake Paul get the shit kicked out of him by a sixty-year-old man. That would be so yeah. awesome. Yeah, come, yeah come. it would be. But unfortunately, with my negative side, I feel like it's just gonna go the distance, and Paul's gonna win decision somehow. And it's I feel like it might be a robbery. Cardio? Well, if it was an exhibition match, it would go that way. But I think if it's like a real like, well, didn't they say there's no winner unless there's a knockout? No, they, they, they I, th- I thought in the last I week they came like out a finish, and talked about there has yeah. to be a finisher, or there it's not an exhibition. That's what it's I heard. It's like too. an actual like judged match now. I unless I was, I'm wrong, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is like, I really hope Mike Tyson wins. And if Jake Paul pulls it out, whatever, I'm still going to play the card of like, how about you go fight actual boxers? Because the one time he did when he fought time, no, it's theory, a lose, he lost. lost. Everyone, even his so, brother told yeah. him, it's a lose lose. If you win or lose, it's a lose lose. It is. If, if, you're you're, beat a if you are man. Jake Paul, it's oh, a lose cool. lose. <laughs> if you're Jake, Jake Paul, Paul it is a lose. He, he got paid. Did. Yeah. I mean, no, he got paid, but yeah. It's only a lose for Tyson. That's that's why I'm betting on Tyson. It's only a lose for Tyson. Jake Paul, if he loses, I lost to the, one of the best ever. Right? Yeah. Oh well. the, And I made whatever twelve million dollars. Yeah. Tyson the, loses. I lost to a fucking punk white kid. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And, I, and that's, that's literally like under half your age. You know, under half your mm-hmm. age. And it's like. The way I see it is the modified rules definitely play in Tyson's favor based on age. Two minute rounds, there's a minute oh, between yeah, rounds, exactly which is crazy. That. A minute between rounds in a pro fight is like unheard of. Insane. But of course, that's they the, did that though. You know, Tyson's fucking 58, dude, or that's whatever the fuck. Against 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 yeah. yeah. Juicers against juicers. Now, Sorry. we've all seen the footage of him hitting pads and hitting the bag. That doesn't tell you anything. I could show you I could show you guys footage of me hitting the bag and be like, damn, Paul, are you the next Mike Tyson? But as soon as you see me in the ring, I'm getting my ass kicked. Like, that's not how it works. Like, it's really easy to look good on bag or pad work. Like, I really want to see Tyson before the fight start crying on behalf of Jake Paul. 
I'm going to do so much to you. I can't even stop myself. He just starts crying <laughs> in an interview. I'm going to fuck you. Oh, my God. I'm scared hey, of myself right now. Hey, this one isn't an <laughs> exhibition, so I'm hoping he doesn't do what he did last one with Roy Jones's exhibition, which was smoke weed right before. He's literally talking about how he's smoking a blunt backstage right before he went out. It's like, well, it's an exhibition. Who gives a shit? But this Jake Paul fight, I think he's taking it pretty seriously, so we'll see what happens. But he'll he'll kill for the next <laughs> eight months. Take so. some meth. Right before the fight. But, oh. <laughs> well, guys, right um, unless fight. anybody else had anything they want to talk about, I'd say this is a pretty damn good show. Does anybody, everybody yeah. good? Have a good yeah, time. Can I ask one question? Yeah, yeah, go for it. In the next couple of months, does any of you guys have anything exciting or like big plan coming up? As Not far to, as? Like, going on, like, just in life. Type. In life? Oh, um, hmm, anything big coming up? Uh. I, so. hope, I mean, I yeah, hope to maybe things. plan a housewarming party. Like, I'm still trying to get the yard together and do some things. I'd like to have some people over, but yeah, really, if you like your friends, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd ha- I would invite all you guys, and you know, uh, but um, we're still trying to kind of get that. The house is in good shape. It's just like I want to get some things in order and things put in place before I have people over and kind of get more settled in. But that's about it for me. Nothing crazy, no trips, mm-hmm. nothing like that. That's cool. What about you guys? Nothing. Yeah. Just weddings. Weddings. All this yeah, yeah, pretty much. I might be moving, but that's about it. Yeah, that's what true. You You're looking up? for a place. He's just looking for a place. Yeah. Oh, okay. But anyway, Carter, well, I really appreciate y'all watching so far. Gutterball 100. What we got over two hours on that bad boy. That's a pretty good episode. Oh yeah, over two hours. Um, thank you guys so much for for coming. It was actually a really good time. I'm glad I didn't go any further into this bottle. It's about yeah, halfway I through. I, I yeah. I, I was about to pour a third, and I'd be like, dude, I don't know if I... I don't know about that. Um, but, um, well, I'm going to make every episode a drinking episode from here on out. <laughs> went by pretty quick, so... You guys weigh over 160 pounds, or, like, you guys not doing okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm one... Fi- I'd say I'd probably step on the scale of about 155 to 160 right now. You're fast, like because I'm a 170... I'm, one, yeah. like, probably 170. I'm like 130 to like 140. Oh my god! Do you, yeah, yeah but how tall are you, Carter? You're I could toss short. you around, my man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like a little beautiful girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm like, I don't know, I'm like five eight, five nine. Yeah, so I'm like, That's I'm like fine. five ten, so that, that makes sense, dude. When I cut, I cut to one thirty eight, <laughs> and for somebody my height, I was like a ghoul. All the midget, like, all the midget. I'm also yeah, he's and so small. the midget. <laughs> Jackson, do you want to kind of sign us off and then I'll end the show here? Yeah, I really yeah, appreciate y'all so watching Powerball 100. <laughs> um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. You want to get on Gutterball, want to be one of these guys on Gutterball, you can get on it. Instagram, DM us, get at us, get on Gutterball. Look how cool these fucking guys are. They could have been, you could have been on the 100th, but you're that a guy's got loser, a cat. So. Yeah, look at that. That guy's sick. I'm going to let Paul take it from here, but I really appreciate thus far. Um, maybe I'll get more sentimental next cast. Um, maybe I'll cry a little bit. Do you want me to cry like Markiplier about yeah, it? Yeah, no, really don't, don't cry like Markiplier. Like Markiplier. I could. Everybody out there, everybody out there, thank you so much for listening. If you made it to Gutterball 100 and you're a fan and you watch, you know, at least a couple of our episodes, you know, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Uh, reach out to us on Instagram, DM us, or email us at, uh, what is it? Fucking gutterballbusiness at gmail.com if you want to be on the show. We've been really bad at procuring guests lately, except for, obviously, anniversary episodes. So come shit on us. You fucking email me hate speech. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Carter, Jack, bomb Ricky. Yeah, yeah, fucking send me bomb threats. No, Tell me you're going to fucking plant the bomb in my house. Jack, do Carter, Ricky, thank you guys so much for coming on. Uh, we'd love to have you guys again, whether it's an anniversary episode or even just like, why not? Gutterball 105. Fucking everybody, come on. Um, thank you guys so much. Everybody listening, thank you so much. Everybody have a great weekend. And that was Gutterball 100. Whoa! Whoa!